Really, Nico? Yep. Really? It's 11 a.m. You're drinking an 8% White Claw? You got the stronger White Claw. You get the strong one? Danny, there's one that's 5% and there's one that's 8%. It's, what do you think that one is there? It's like Mike's Harder yes. lemonade. <laughs> yes. This is White Claw claw ear. Right. White Claw. Why, why no. not Whiter Claw? Whiter Claw. Danny, let's just say... It might even be racist. No, hey. Danny, let's just say it's like him going from Oxy to... Heroin. 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 Yeah. Nico, you're pretty much doing heroin at 11 a.m. right now. Yeah. That's what that means. I heard time isn't of any constraint. Right into the mic. In right into the mic. I heard that time is of no constraint here. Like it's five o'clock somewhere in the Danny and Leo show. Unfortunately, podcast. Leo has made that argument many times in yeah. the past. Leo, when you called Nico earlier, you mm -hmm. told me all about it. Mm -hmm. I guess the first thing he said, because we thought we were going to come in here discuss politics, maybe talk a little bit about literature. Mm -hmm. Instead, Nico's on the phone. Is it all right if I swing by 7-Eleven and get some alcohol? Yeah. And Leo goes, Nico, are you, are you kidding me? Come on, man. You can't just maybe do this sober. You can't just have a conversation with us sober on a couch. Uh, come on, dude. You know I get nervous when I'm on when I'm on microphone. And also, I'm driving all the way fucking up here for you guys. Come on. Mm -hmm. all all right. Right. Just have a little one. fun, Neeks. Have a little fun. Nico, you're an alcoholic. You're unrepentant about it. What do you have to say for yourself? Cheers, boys. <laughs> you have to drive home. You're going to kill a family. He's honestly making me a little angry because he's, he has Liquid Death hat on, which they don't sponsor us, Danny. They have... You are, you're drinking it. It's good. Why? Because there's no We're PPA. Giving a free ad. Yeah, no, there's do no I, PPA. Do I want any... BPA in my system, Leo? I don't I mean, even know what it is. I don't. Either, I have no but... fucking idea what BPA is. Look, I can't guess I any of the letters. I can't uh, guess a single letter of BPA. Because a King Croc, our conspiracy theorist here, he t totally knows what it is. It's it's plastic, pretty much. Right. Can we, Austin, can you look up BPA for me? Is it the Chinese also King Croc? Most likely, honestly. <laughs> on, to, to keep it 100% real, yeah. yeah. the biggest trash pile in the world, by far, is in China. It's actually Wait. Uh, two of the most polluted rivers on Earth. Hmm. Are in China? Are they big? Are you, are they have more trash uh, in uh, than the the Indians or the the you know from India. The, they more, also pollute big time. They big time. You know what we do with our trash, right? What we don't have enough landfill space, so we pay other countries like India and China mm. to take our trash in barges, and then they throw our trash into their rivers, so it does fucking nothing. Uh, wow. How much? How much do I have to pay Ship Station to get Nico on one of those barges? <laughs> Slap a label right on Nico's forehead. It's one of our sponsors today, Ship Station, by the way. Throw them out. Just Nico, throw them to the Nico. trash. Huh? Nico, you know how happy I would be? I, I, I know there are barges out in New York, Leo. Would you incinerate that little fucker? I would just, I want to see him just. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> strapped to a bunch of Bud Light cans and empty hot dog wrappers. Right. Just fucking take it out to sea. And then I want. Hopefully, there's a big dump truck-like mechanism on the front of the barge where it goes, ur, 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 and Nico goes, ah. <laughs> Now, I have to ask you this, and I know the fans are probably going to enjoy this, but what are you adventure? doing? What are you... What's your move with Jill at the wake, at the funeral? What's you have move? a wake? Does that mean it's like an Irish Catholic? Yeah, dude. Nico's gonna have a wake. He's having a wake. So like Father O'Finnegan's oh, gonna yeah. be up there presiding. <laughs> how great would Nico Villacrisis was a fine lad. Yes, dude. Make how Villacrisis was a fine lad. There we go. Yes. Connor McGregor's gonna swing good. by. Do Connor McGregor at your wake, Nico. This man right here in the <laughs> casket. <laughs> He was number one behind the lens and in our hearts. Yes. I took you across the country to the worst places and returned victorious. And in that, we cheer him to the next life. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty yeah. good, dude. dude he's, got, he's fucking got it. Dude. Yeah, dude. He does. Danny, you know somebody actually did invite us to a celebration of life. It's like in uh, July, and it's in another <laughs> state, and there's going to be like 500 people there, apparently. And they want only three speakers. His best friend, you and me. Oh, wow. Where is it? It's like in fucking, I think an outlet. Like, I think it's in the South. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look And it's in July. Idea. Yeah. We what? might have to do this, Leo. Dude. We might have to do this. Really? This the sounds... guy died for real. I ruined I a funeral. No. I think that might get a couple clicky clicks oh on YouTube, God. dude. 
<laughs> you, I, I thought it was like the one that'd be off limits because I do. I mean, ruining somebody's marriage or wedding day, that's yep. tough too. But you, I mean, I guess we're going to have an opportunity to ruin someone's like. Wait, know. was the fan the one who's dead or no, were they both fans? No, they were both fans. Yeah, dude. One of the fans, one of the, the guy that died was a fan. Mm. So rest in peace, man. Listen, this, first of all, he should have been using new mood and he probably <laughs> wouldn't have died. I'm assuming it was a suicide. Second of all, <laughs> If he's a fan of our channel, another sponsor shout out. If he's a fan of our channel, Leo, mm -hmm. I'm obligated to. It's not ruining it. It might be ruining it for his stuffy mother who tried to get him to get good grades and assimilate into society and stop hitting his girlfriend. But oh, yeah. for him, dude, mm -hmm. it's going to be it's going to be it should be titled. I made a funeral awesome. <laughs> and he's who matters. You know what, dude? You're right. We might have to go. Take little Neeksies there, get them hammered at the fucking celebration of life. Neeks ruins a funeral, dude. I mean, how many? Honestly, you're you're approaching just like double S levels of celebrity. Double S S. Does this become SS. a Nazi thing? How yeah. often are you guys recognized nowadays? Because I I swear every time I go to the Grove, pretty much a Danny Mullen fan, a well-to-do Danny Mullen fan, comes up to this alone. Hmm. For me, whenever I'm somewhere hip, mm -hmm. I get recognized. Anywhere hip and like there's young people, mm -hmm. things going on, it's kind of crowded. I get recognized. How do they? How do they say? How do they go up to you? Pussy say? shadow, oh, <laughs> pussy shadow. Do you I like guess. it, King Croc? At first, I like it. Oh, what do you mean? At what first, you, what do you mean? Said, every time dude, he's, he's jaded, my he's jaded by fame. What the fuck is wrong with fuck you, dude? Are you are you Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> do you have to put an overcoat over your face when you're popping out of your Prius so the paparazzi can't get you? Every time I get recognized, it makes my day. Just so you guys know, I know I love make it, it too. big. If you see me and Danny in public. Go big. Oh, I've I told you it. this before, but go as big as you possibly can. Dude, that last Nico? video where Leo got recognized by all those fucking I chicks. Know. I didn't like that one. <laughs> cock block. If it's I don't get recognized, so if it's a bachelorette recognition, yeah, I get it. so jealous that I got to be the wedge that drives Leo apart from the push. <laughs> Can I tell you guys something? This isn't like something that he only does on camera. There was mm -hmm. a, a very cute blonde one time approached mm -hmm. me at an airport and said, oh, yeah. are you Leo from bachelorette? And before I had a chance to answer, yeah. Danny goes, how do you feel about the sexual harassment claims made against Leo? Uh -huh. well, that was the first thing. Uh -huh. Off camera. Uh -huh. Sidestep it. Every time he does it, though, the girls just sidestep it like it's nothing, though, which is kind of cool. It's, uh -huh. it's hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's embedded in their heads that there are going to be a bunch of wormy little cock blocks that are mm -hmm. trying to bring down the real alpha males. <laughs> and maybe they've seen enough of that going on in high school that they just sideswat yeah. it. I, um... We, we we didn't get to talk about this. It got it was in the deleted episode where I talked about how I told I was at dinner with Mia and her brother was the server there and he was serving a table of really hot chicks at a bachelorette party. Oh, and I went up to the table and told all of them that he, Mia's brother, the oh. server, is notorious for groping girls at the <laughs> restaurant. And none of them sniggered. I there's I got a lot of cock block in my blood, Leo. Yeah, why do you do that to people? You I should guide cocks, not block them, Danny. I think um I think my great great, -great grandfather, mm. um, Conan Mullen mm. or uh Flint Finnegan Mullen. Finnegan Mullen. That's, Mullen. There we go. That's a very Irish, good, yes, Irish I think uh Nico, give me some Finnegan Mullen talk about cock blocking. Well, when the Irish came to America <laughs> and we had our I'm trying not to do Connor I'll just do Connor do Connor, do Connor. Do Connor. Every, every, time. every time it's great what was the premise again that I uh, Finnegan, that Mullen. Finnegan Mullen and his tribe believes in cock blocking yeah it's a, because it's the Catholic and thing it's to his do. great great grandfather it is in our evolutionary <laughs> biology <laughs> that we as males cannot let I'm losing it not let I'm losing the fucking accent. I can't do it. I, I lost Keep it. Drinking, Keep drinking. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. What the fuck, I, I dude? Fuck it. I fucked it's, up. Sorry. It's cave neeks. It's cave neeks. I wanted... Wait, wait, well, I had a quick question, though, that I wanted to ask. How do you feel about the word sniggered? Should we lose that word? Well, or should we say it's sniggered? sniggered. Should we, I think we should drop the <laughs> what, ER. That's, that's a, a bit. You gotta, you gotta save that. That's a good bit. No, that, well, the, the word, the bit should be... So, niggardly is the sketchiest word. And that's really a word, it's a you word can't yeah. come, and it's spelled with an I G G A R D, I believe. So no E. Sniggered is the second cousin of niggardly, niggardly. and it's also <laughs> a little a little suspect. Now, and what the does that mean? Uh, the half child renig. 
to Re- take back something. Yeah. I yeah. thought that was like Indian giving. When my friends had renege, I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. What are you saying? We were in public. And then he was like, that's a word, you idiot. And Kick Rock, it it this is a bit, dude. You going yeah. down the list of yeah. almost N words that are actually yeah. legal terms? That so is a good, fucking dude. bit. Dude, you would yeah, kill. Dude. I mean, you're, you're going to probably be up again this next month. So, and then you're not the next be, month? You're not going to be hammered or high this time. Hey, Leo, you tell me when to show up, I'll show up. King Rock, July yeah. sometime. King Rock, you Rock. realize tomorrow we're going on no job. Jumper and Adam22 text me when we were at VidCon filming yeah. our video, which went great, by the way. Great stuff, Leo. Great video. He texted me and he specifically Nico. requested the Pussy Shadow be on the show. Really? <laughs> so I understand, I guess, why fame is a burden for you because it's such a large level of fame in your case that Adam22 yeah. is demanding you fill in for him while he's on vacation. We're filling in for Adam22. Oh, shit. Okay. We're co hosting the show. Wait, who's yeah, going to be the other know. host then? Fucking King Croc, dude. Just you two? I think AD and a house phone are oh, going to be there oh, too. Well, oh, sure. AD and house phone. Yeah. <laughs> now, King Croc. So, you might have another opportunity. Opportunity. I mean, Nico, would you call yourself a pornographer? Yeah. You are. I have <laughs> made, I think I've filmed three people having sex and yeah. arguably pushed the boundaries with flying a drone right, inside dude. the room uh-huh. while filming the fucking couple. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. But Danny's a porn That's director, true. though, and you're a pussy for want- walking out of the room. I looked at a big black cock one time. Being Scotty shocked. Chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was. Danny, of course, got my little, he got the one sneaky little look I took. You got it on camera. We got it on camera. <laughs> and everybody thinks that you were black cock gazing. Yeah. And nobody's going to look. It's B- bullshit. BCG, it dude. Rock. When you're BCG's in, that King means you're Croc. gay. Yeah, I guess so. But I wanted to ask King Croc because, oh. you know, I'm a father figure, brother, you know. Make sure that when you go to Adam 22's, you got your pubes nicely clipped. Oh yeah. Make sure you got a little bit of maybe Axe ball deodorant down there. Shout so, out Manscaped. I should Not prepare. Axe, uh, Manscaped, Manscaped ball deodorant. Shout out Manscaped. You should prepare mm-hmm. just in case you want to do more porn. Now listen, it's uh, we don't know what's going to happen for sure. But hey, if there's hot chicks and they're trying to get down, you got you know what I'm saying. I'll do it. You're care. into it. You're into it. You're what if it's an ugly it? dude and he's trying to get down? Hell no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> what about a hot dude? Are you hell no? Nah. Are, <laughs> are you down to be a porn uh, porn star? Because nah, but I'm trying to get paid, bro. I'm not trying okay. to be no minimum wage porn star. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna do it, you need some cash. I need cash, and I need I need ownership yeah. ultimately because I'm a businessman. Look at Danny. me. He's like Fifty Cent. When Fifty Cent got equity in vitamin water, that's king, dude. That's you didn't you failed to get any equity when Kazumi jerked you off in the bathroom yeah. though. Yeah, you completely I mean, Leo, didn't stick Leo to your peer pressure me a little bit. He's Did like, I? Yeah, he's like, fucking, sign the papers. I'm like, all right. Fuck that is not it. true. I'm not that guy. King Croc, you're also acting as if it was a burden for a beautiful Asian woman with huge fake tits to rub your penis. Yeah, no, it wasn't a burden. It, it was, was nice. She, it was uh, nice. how was her form? We never really talked about it. This is on a Patreon episode, by the way. Patreon episode from uh, when King Croc won Kazumi's affection on the main episode. The companion Patreon, if you want to see him get jerked off. Or actually, rather, it's on Kazumi's OnlyFans. Yeah. Wait, we get to watch Her the titties are on our Patreon. Mm. What's that, Nico? Do you show the jerking off process? She does. I'm really fans. Oh, Her only shit, fans. Yeah. Dude. What, Nico? No, I gonna... no, on your Patreon. That's what I was just asking. How, no, you can't do that. how many hours away would Jill have to be for you to masturbate to that in the house, in the living room? Let's talk your jerk off habits, Nico. Let's yeah. talk about them. Yeah, yeah. When do you jerk off? Um, whenever I feel like jerking off, dude. How yeah, often right. is that? Well, Jill yeah. can't be there. There's no way he does this in front no. of Jill. Oh, or no, even no, around no. Jill. Jill would. You know the old-fashioned, like, Russian peasant woman with a bonnet and a rolling pin? Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's what Jill turns into if she catches Nico jerking off. You want to be Nico getting caught jerking off? Yeah. I'll be Jill. Uh, Nico, could you run to the store? Oh, wait, wait. I want to be Jill. Oh, you want to be Jill? Oh, Nico. (laughs) Are you in there? Robbing your little prick again. I'm sorry. I just didn't know you were in there. Stop. Stop. (laughs) Don't hit me. Stop. Stop. (laughs) She comes no, in. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's there's no subtle role play. She comes in yeah. like a like a, a Victorian English battle axe of a woman and just beats Nico's ass. You know she does. Whenever he's pleasuring his little uh, wee wee. Oh yeah, she's taller than him. I mean, she she kind of she is strong. Is she has she ever struck you? Wait, is Joe? Actually- she never struck me for real. We you know like she's like ah eh, you fucking idiot. All right. So when do you you can't jerk off when she's home, right? <laughs> um. If I take a shot, no, yeah, I can't, dude. When she's what do you jerk off? She has her meetings, dude, and they last like an hour and a half, two oh, hours perfect. sometimes. So she's like locked in the room and everything, and I can just 
have my way with myself in the bathroom, dude. Uh huh. You, oh, you go to the bathroom though, but sometimes most of the time because I can't out front because we have a bunch of windows that. Even I don't trust the blinds, the slats, so I can't jack off in the uh, family room. He thinks somebody's peeping Tom and him. Dude. Just, just, he thinks there's well, it'll somebody. look smaller from far away, so I don't want them to see it, dude. I need to be <laughs> hidden in the fucking bathroom. You know, Jill, what? there's been a time when she had to mute and close out her camera on yeah. Zoom to go take a shit. Oh, yeah. And Nico is in there. <laughs> That's not the noise he makes when he masturbates, yeah, yeah, like, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> he's in there just fucking taking himself <laughs> taking himself to pleasure mountain you and know jill it. comes you in know it. and he sees the door handle moving yeah. at first she, she encounters the locked door but right. she goes and gets a bobby pin yeah. out of her closet and mm -hmm. comes in and she picks the lock because she'll be damned if nico she only uses nico for sex once or twice a month yeah but when she wants to use him for sex she wants a full nut sack because mm -hmm. she likes to get showered in the pearl sauce. Jesus Christ, dude. You, Am I, did, you, you just, know so did, much. Did you just you don't even know her, dude. You're, you're a fucking cameraman, dude, dude. This is on video. This is going to go up in the court proceedings when he inevitab inevitably sues you. This I'm will, never going to fucking... Dude, could you I've imagine? So, like, really dude, I just... I really just... I want to get sued by Nico so that we could sit in court and watch the videos. <laughs> All in the front evidence. of the courtroom, <laughs> all the evidence in front of the courtroom about the sexual harassment. Dude, I was just thinking about this content, because dude. when we're out filming with Nico, we oh. have to do comedy that other people will find funny. Mm -hmm. We have to do highbrow stuff. It can't be horribly, horribly offensive. But all of that is done the moment the camera goes. Ch yep. I guess that turns off the record button. It's also silent. He's, he's, off the noise. he's using an old wind-up disposable camera. <laughs> a Polaroid. When we come back to the hotel and chill for the night, it gets foul, mm -hmm. Leo. The things Quickly. we say to each other, to Nico. Oh, yeah. It gets bad. Learning to manage daily stress, Danny. It's a thing. Anxious thoughts is something that we all... You want me to start it off? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to get a fuck. I'm fucking flipping you waffle and meditating. No, oh, yeah. I'm going to do that again. We'll All right, let's again. do it. What's going on there, Danny boy? See how long it took me to open my eyes right there when he called my attention? It was, uh, it was, yeah, there was a good pause. What's going on? I'm detached, dude. Mm -hmm. I've been using new mood. Hell yeah. See my finger right now? Mm -hmm. It means I don't need you or this podcast or Western civilization to be happy anymore. I'm Zed. Why is that? How's Noom helping you achieve that? How is that? Because we all need help managing anxious thoughts. Listen, and stress. Leo. I mean, we seriously do. How much formal instruction did you ever mm -hmm. receive on monitoring your mood? I mean, I never received any instruction at all. It was my dad going, shut up. That's right. Yeah. And that puts you in a pit from which you must now climb out. You yeah. got formal instruction on how to do geometry, mm -hmm. how to tie your shoes, how to hit a baseball. What a waste of time that all was. Hey, huh? hey, hey, stop it. I've, I've made some money with it. Listen, but no, New Mood is here to help you to, with, ment with your mental wellness. If I would have had New Moon when I was playing baseball, I mean, let's just yeah. let's say I would have been in the bigs right now having sex with some beautiful women, and I wouldn't have to do this shady little podcast in this shady little podcast mm -hmm. studio. You screwed up. I did. New mood, Leo. I mean, it is a scientifically proven mm -hmm. psychologist endorsed mood elevation product. It is. All the things yeah. I get from reading books, from listening to podcasts, all of this wisdom, ancient and modern, is compiled into your daily Noom courses that just take about 15 minutes. Right. And they get you in the headspace you need to be in to be at your best, creatively, yep. professionally, athletically. 100%. Sexually. And uh, their, their Noom weight is obviously another unbelievable uh, program they have as well that I'm a believer in. And let's be honest, I would have been ripped if I had access to Noom weight. But unfortunately, it's just Noom mood for now and it yeah. is backed by science as you said i want to re uh, i'll kind of i want to touch mm. on that it's backed by science it's their lessons based on psychological principles yeah that teach you about your relationship with stress and anxiety when you understand it you can cope with it you can and cope with it trust me as you get older it, it doesn't get easier to deal with stress or anxiety i mean 
things go haywire. Sometimes. Oh, it gets bad as you get older. Mm-hmm. I mean, Leo, 35, you're knocking on death's door, buddy. Hey, well, and come on. Maybe if I was a Neanderthal, I'm 30. I'm not even middle age. You Relax. are indistinguishable from a Neanderthal. Oh, really? Well, thank you. Now, because of these comments, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go 30 minutes. Yeah. It's not going to be 15. Yeah, you're going to talk to your, ther- your personal therapist. I'm going to talk to Desiree because of what you said. Yes. And me and her have a great relationship. Yes. All the things I've said. It was all a joke. Everybody. Okay? We hear your problems all the time Mm -hmm. or we see them. We saw a lot of you show up to our live show this weekend, drunk off your asses, unhappy, working jobs you hate. If you want to turn it around, it starts with Noom Mood. Yes. We don't have anything else to say. Liam, tell them you are stronger than your stress. It doesn't get to control you. All right. Equip yourself (laughs) with the knowledge and skills to steer yourself to happiness. And that's what Noom Mood helps me do. Steer myself to happiness. (laughs) Worry less and feel happier. Sign up for your trial at noom.com slash LDS. That's N O O M dot com slash LDS. Damn. You got to give him one example. I'll give him uh, one of the, the questions that you asked Nico about his family members and sexual stuff. Give him one. Well, I'll give you an example. Like, because Nico, don't I turn every song into a song about how you're gay? <laughs> yeah he does but it's bullshit because i can't say it back to him because it's his music he knows so he knows some of it but then he played um what's it called acdc one time and yeah. i fucking wrecked it you did wreck me to ac let me hear that he turned, nice. and back in, it's too late yeah. back in, and also it would be littered with slurs oh, but he okay. turned back in black by acdc just into a song about me sucking cock and I, I had to give him a round of applause it was really good to <laughs> do your, do your after, nico yeah, warm-up but, song. but the, the og song is the world is your oyster that was the OG Nico's. Uh, can we say? Uh, uh, it's we we can't get into these songs because yeah, they're can. so offensive. But yeah, okay, the word uh, oyster by the band Jawbreaker. But another example is I like to take the song uh, "Every Morning" by Sugar Ray and just mm-hmm. every morning Nico sucking dick for crack in a bus stop or a gay guy's bed. Woo. He says he's not gay, but I kind of disbelieve him because he sucked that gay guy's nutsack red. He fucked him in his head. And I just, that'll be a random thing I just sing to Nico when he's transferring footage onto his hard drive. Dude, you guys could probably get the lead singer of Sugar Ray on this podcast. Oh, uh, Have sure, you seen I've this met him. video met him. of Mark him McGrath? when he was like talking Mark shit McGrath. to that one kid about Sugar Gay? Oh, yeah. He said, uh, he some kid smelled my to fart. Him. Yeah, he's, he's got a classic. No, a kid he's dope. Mark He's McGrath is sick. Lives in Studio City. I used to see him at the gym. Oh, He's wow. a good guy. Very normal. Yeah, we might actually get him on the spot. He That'd is. Awesome. The song, like I Just Want to Fly. I, I mean, is it. that for anybody else the soundtrack to the 90s? I That's one of my, I honestly, 90s, I used to say man. that was one of my favorite songs. I used to really like that song. Wait, wait, so wait, wait, wait. King Croc, how old are you? I don't want to say. Are you? I don't under, think he experienced the '90s. In that's college. what I was about to I say. Born, I was born in the '90s, I but I was a 2000s growing up kid. I was five. You're 23, Kingy. Oh, yeah. oh, you're younger than uh, me. You, you didn't, got me. Yeah, he's not shit, dude. The 90s. Yeah, you don't even know the '90s, dude. 80, 98, huh? Well, listen, back then, <laughs> two they years, dude. weren't pussies, man. It was a whole different time. Tell you, man. I miss it. Taking man. a shit in a diaper in '99 was bliss, man. <laughs> it was the best. All I'm saying is, I look back with fond memories. Well, I didn't really have those memories, but I look back with um, an appreciation for what used to be and before society got, soy society got cucked. Yeah. Gotcha. You know? There were, there was a downside to the 90s too, though, King Cross. Oh, yeah? For instance, if you wanted to do what we're doing right now, you would have had to have worked your way up through local radio. Yeah. Imagine mm. walking into a local radio station. If you wanted to be an actor or a comedian, Everything was through the mainstream route. Me so you had to kiss been... ass, suck cock. Yes. And equipment cock. was hell of a lot more expensive Think back about then. that. Yeah, right now, it. your iPhone, you can make a hugely successful YouTube channel with what Leo has in his right hand. I need to get me one of those, bro. Yeah, well, get, get an iPhone. I think it's a good investment for all of you. Dino. Android. God clown. damn it, well, dude. And- oh, you do have an iPhone, but it's it's a very, very old one. It's like It looks like an iPhone 5. What as long it? as the texts are blue. That's all the ca- girls care about. If yeah, the text that, is green, so they're not going to sleep I'm with gonna you. I'm going to text Dino so right now. I don't what think I was going to ask you, Danny. You're yeah. you're the uh, chief pussy. You hear that, Leo? In this room. You hear that? All right. <laughs> it might All be right. Leo. I'm not sure. One of you two for sure. It's me. Okay. So is that really a thing where you're DLVing, you're demonstrating lower value if 
your text is not green or blue, whatever the iPhone shit is. I know. I, yes. I, I they think get dry yeah, immediately. He, yes. he asked the chief pussy I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll explain to both sides too, but I'll explain my opinion. But go ahead, Danny Boy. Sorry. The chief pussy of whatever, yeah. Nico, if your phone goes off one more time, I saw no, you texting over. What Whose phone is that? No, I just burped. I said sorry, I burped. Someone over there. Whose phone is going off? It's not mine. Okay, yeah, no, Dino awesome. is actually blue, dude. It lit up blue. That's pretty cool, Dino. Listen, we can send Dino shit now, Danny, if we need it. We can airdrop Dino. King Croc, this is, forget blue text. The reason you should get an iPhone is so this doesn't happen and yeah. derail an episode of the podcast. This is insane. You think this is People acceptable, with... King? King, what the you fuck, this is acceptable? Dude? I mean, look, if you had your phone on at, like, a meeting with Jerry Jones for the doubt, like, whoa, Jerry Jones would kill you. What, what if they brought you in as a third-string running back right, right. Now, King? If you lost some weight, you could be one. Yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta get a little bit more fit. I would, like, I would like to see what, uh, dude, I've, I've told King Croc this before, but if he grew up with Julio D'Otavio, oh. if he was, like, an adopted oh. black African, oh. not only would you be in the major leagues, but you would have gotten me too, also, because the values that Julio taught me about with women are, were a little chauvinistic, but I, but they're awesome. King, I would have been a phenomenon. Leo's dad yeah. taught him some good values, but yeah. he forgot to say "I love you." Yeah, he didn't tell uh, me he loves me ever. He's uh, sort of like uh, <laughs> never told me that. How Jill treats Nico. So really, Danny, I want to know <laughs> so, what is the deal with the iPhone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I believe this. I believe little things like what color your text appears as have negative influence on how much pussy you get. Okay. Zero influence no. how much pussy you get. What matters when you're picking up women is as a whole how attractive you are as a mate. And there's a lot of factors that go into that. None of it can be reduced to what car you drive mm -hmm. or what color your text is. You can yeah. be the biggest okay. pimp in the world using a flip phone. You can most of the late the most of the biggest pimps I've ever known have the worst cars, and some of them had flip phones and didn't give a shit what they they weren't at all like witty with technology. They were not tech guys in any way. Mm. You know, they were just like probably like artists. I'd say like and you know like a guy that was like in touch with like who he was and. You know, and yeah, they're all started for a while. I was telling bitches, you know, like Dino knows Dino's been out in the field with me, but I tell bitches I'm in between phones right now. You know, <laughs> as I'm getting younger, that's funny. I'm in between <laughs> jobs right now. I'm in between, phones. I'm in between pairs of shoes. I'm in between breath mints. I'm in between dentists. You could take that to every. I'm not saying yeah. you. I'm no, not yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about if we're talking about practical stuff with the ladies. Let's say Kazumi and you hook up, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. She's got a video where she's sucking your cock. And she goes, let me, it's a little big file. Why don't I airdrop it to you? And you go, oh, damn, I got an Android. She goes, oh, don't worry. I'll I'll email it or something. You're never getting that video. You know what I mean? So that's why you want the iPhone. It's true. really the airdrop. It's airdrop magical. It's big. It's huge. It's Airdrop's huge. insanely huge. Mm -hmm. And if you have a Mac laptop, come on. The magic. And airdrop, that's an iPhone exclusive. Yeah, obviously. Okay. You want to be airdropping, King? Go into a Mac iPhone. store, dude. I'm pretty confident the uh, other phones have the same concept, just different name. But yeah, there's no cross platform. Yeah, but, you, but the thing is, not no hot porn star chicks have an Android. They all have an iPhone. Yeah. So you got to play for their team. King, so. for all the poor guys who get a ton of pussy, there's a million super rich guys cruising around Hollywood in a Ferrari who maybe have a girlfriend, but she cheats on them and doesn't respect them. Also, your don't possessions. even get pussy. Yeah. Also, there's rich guys that don't get pussy. Dude, yeah. I'll or they have right to now. pay for pussy, and only uh, that's the only way they get it. Well, paying for pussy, uh, I don't care either way, but I, I would rather have no bitch than have a bitch that's cucking me, bro. Well, what do you consider fucking... cucking? Like, what if she's like, hey, uh, you know, meet me in the middle sometime. Can we... Go to the grocery store and split the groceries down the middle, and then uh, we'll both carry them. You say? I'm about to split your motherfucking head open. <laughs> God, I just wanted to pr present a scenario where we were equal. Uh, humans. Shit. You want me to do the dishes after I eat a meal? Uh, I mean, if if that's okay with you, I that would be fair. I'm about to break a crowbar over the bridge of your motherfucking nose. Oh, why are you threatening violence because of dishes? This is just shocking. You want me. me to stop trying to grab your little sister's ass at the wedding reunion? That would be nice because that is sexual assault. <laughs> wedding reunion. <laughs> Family reunion. A wedding reunion. Yeah, no, but uh, Sorry, yeah, and he's glad Roe v. Wade got overturned. 
bitch. <laughs> what, Nico? Explain that joke. Was at, well, because yeah, like, you're just King adding Croc, insult yeah. to injury. So then you yeah. told your girl, like, I'm it. glad your woman's rights got revoked. Oh, I Fuck get it. you, bitch. Nice. I'm Damn. not going to lie. It's a bad time for players around the world. Yeah, mm. it is. Abortion has officially been illegalized, mm. or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, federally. Yeah, federally. And Funny, now we're weeds illegal cities. federally too. We still we're good in the big the cities. We're good in the big cities, and I think Texas isn't a hundred percent. You could still do it in Texas too. Abortion's what are you gonna do when you roll down to Virginia? You hit up a little batty ting down there. A batty ting? Yeah. <laughs> was that Jamaican talk? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I, had pay, I had to pay for an abortion once. So you have for your it. mom. Jeez. <laughs> <God. laughs> you asshole. King Croc, run him through this. Let's go through the exercise with Leo right here. All right, go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, Leo, how are you? What are you going to do when you go to Virginia? You hit up your little baddie side piece, mm -hmm. and three months later, she That's... hits you up. I'm pregnant, Dottavio. All right, well, let's first of all, let's talk about this baddie. What's she looking like? You know Wait, is does anyone tall? real quick have a nicotine pen on him? Nah, dude. Uh, what do you feed? Nah, dude, I'm a fiend when I come here. That's the only <laughs> Wait, time I ever King hit him. Croc. Sorry. You don't have one? Nah, I'll I'd hit it too. I'd fucking hit Wait, it too. a lot of that too. Uh, you're not a six, dude. Fuck let's smoke a cig in here like men, like it was this fucking Mad Men in the '60s. We gotta buy it's cigars down. so we can fucking just, and just dude. Nah, like, nah, hey, cigar, cigar, no, no, dude. Cigars will do it. Leo, Leo, give fucking Dino your card. Have him go get us a fucking e cig, bro. All right, come on. Dino's not Dino. old enough. You're not 18. You have to be 21. Uh, ah, shit. I guess next time then. Kid Grok, you want to go? Nah, we need you. Nah, we need it. Ah, listen, listen. We all got. We started, dude. Immediately you left. Nico presented drugs. Nico he wanted presented drugs. drugs. He <laughs> got into my addictions. I wanted to hit the vape pen to get the buzz. This was all Nico's fault. <laughs> we got a show going here. It all was right, my no. fault, but without Danny here, I was like, eh, this is kind of derailing. Right, so I like, just wanted to. Add there's my a couple two factors. Piece. If the Southern Belle that I'm fucking is my side piece, yeah. if she's tall, if she has a father and mother that have a lot of money that can maybe take care of the babies. Mm. I might just let her, I might just be like, you know what? I am religious. I am Catholic. I'm uncircumcised after all. Why don't we just leave that baby inside of the inside of you and grow it and make it a, a man make it a man and grow it, <laughs> grow it. Okay. Now here's another. If story. I have a girl, I'll never, I'll never contact uh, the Southern Bell again. I will ghost her forever. <laughs> oh, so Leo, but if it's a boy, I'll, that's I'll, I'll say what's up. You if it's are a boy, Christmas, birthday. <laughs> So this is interesting. You're you're pro life or pro choice, dependent on what the girl looks like, yep, and what her parents do or have. Yes, but it also it's sounding like you're pro life or pro choice after the child's sex has been determined. Yeah, yeah, you nailed it. All those factors uh, determine whether I'm pro life or pro choice. Let's go through this one. Mm -hmm. The baby is going to be a girl. I'm not. Pro done I'm not done. I'm yet. sorry. I'm sorry. 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 I'm not done yet. It's a girl. So that's pro choice. That, there we go. It's a girl. The mother that you had sex with on a video shoot, she's got cataracts, first of all. Pro choice. I'm not done. Oh. <laughs> when you are done having sex with her in the morning, mm -hmm. she um she uh hops out of bed and straps on a prosthetic leg. Pro choice. I'm not done. Oh. Her belly button. Um Inside, there's a yellow. It's a, it's almost a, a clay-like substance that is just years of accumulation of sweat, lint, and maybe some bacteria. That's what PC, Danny boy, I'm pro choice. <laughs> PC. Mm -hmm. Do I need to go any further with this woman? No, <laughs> yeah, no. Sorry. I, in fact, I might have her executed as well. <laughs> I might get, hire a hitman to kill this woman if I if a woman like that had sex with me and has evidence or a, a baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She raped me, and I don't know what happened. I yes, got the worst evidence. case of beer goggles ever. <laughs> this is this kind of comes back to what we were saying earlier. King Croc, we were yeah. talking about whether he would or would not fuck somebody at the No Jumper show tomorrow, mm -hmm. man, woman. When you and I were talking about it, you you I forget King Croc. You said you you would have sex with the guy on camera. No, <laughs> what? Oh yeah, Danny thought that was gonna be a big punchline. <laughs> yeah, so funny. Dude. It still was. It because was a big punchline, dude. It was. But, uh, eyes. You know, it's hard. To find the time to focus on what really matters in life, Danny, when you're running a biz. Dude, Leo, you might notice that my main channel videos, they they have been declining in quality because I just don't have the time mm -hmm. to put out good content anymore because I'm so worried with my shipping tasks. Well, look, when you run a business, time seems more precious. And I understand when you're running your little video editing sweatshop with your boys. 
it's difficult to find the time to ship. Yeah, Leo. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, recently, um, I, I've been on this this Reddit thing, and mm-hmm. it's the, the the dedication. It's called Reddit slash Dead Cats. Okay, interesting. And, that, that's that's where, what you've been looking at. Yeah, well, I've done more than look at it. I've taken it upon myself to kill mm-hmm. every single stray neighborhood cat that comes to the milk bowl I laid out on my back porch. What the hell is wrong with you? And I now I'm shipping those now. Oh, you're shipping them? Yeah, because we because me and the other guys on Reddit slash Dead Cats, we we trade. Well, I would I would call you an e-commerce seller, and and the the best thing Thank about you. this it's ShipStation. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. Gives e-commerce sellers like you more time to do what they really love, unless what you really love is managing every little you know detail of no, word for no, filming no, with no, the no. cats and stuff. You know? No, I mean? no. Like I had this yeah. I had this box. I took um. I took a calico to the post office. A calico. And the calico, like, first of all, I got to the counter, and the calico wasn't dead yet, which was a surprise. Ooh, I was like, is... I'd like to ship it. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, God. And I is... just I, I cracked its neck right there, and then I was like, this needs to go to Wisconsin. And I was in the post office, Leo, all told for 45 minutes. Uh-huh. And that's why last week's video came out like two days late. That's bullshit. Well, well Sh- ShipStation automates time in, you know, intensive shipping processes so you can get back to focusing on, you know, bigger things, Danny, like, well, you, you know, killing cats or whatever the hell. You it do. is big, Leo. OK, you, you got to develop new products, though. You should develop maybe some new products or hone your marketing strategy and, or, you know, inter- interact yeah. with your customers. Yeah, yeah. Maybe go to the houses, see, see who's buying these cats. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Tristan in uh, Fort Worth. I, I want to meet him face to face, Leo. What are you going to do with all this time that you have? Now that the ship station is going to just save you, like what? What are you going to do with the time that ship station is going to save you? I might move on to dogs. Uh huh. Okay, that's interesting. I bought some milk bones already at Petco. I'm going to do a trial run tonight. All right. Well, good luck with that. There's a uh, Saint Bernard next door. Oh, 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 oh. You're not going to miss shipping, doing all the shipping tasks manually for these oh, animals, though, right? With the Saint Bernard, man, that's that's, that's somebody else. One. I want no. ship. I want to slap the ship station label on and a guy to come loaded in the UPS truck. Okay. God, nothing to do with that one. That's heavy. I'm going to break my back, Leo. You are going to break your back. I want to throw out a lumbar. Now look, it it works with all different storefronts. So you can send yeah. it, you know, with Am- you can you can uh, use it with Amazon, eBay, Etsy, mm-hmm. and more, and lets you automate. All the manual work that mm-hmm. goes into shipping. You mm-hmm. also get deeply discounted shipping rates, which is my favorite thing about ShipStation. Mm-hmm. Uh, normally reserved for Fortune 500 companies. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, if you look at everything, compound effect over the long term, ShipStation saves you a ton of money. Yeah. And that's really what it's all about. Let's and you can it. easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times. Yeah. So it makes it easier to get those cats to your customers. In Thank time. you. It's easy to choose uh, the best option for every shipping scenario. Let go of all those shipping tasks. ShipStation can do it better and faster. Sign up using promo code LDS for a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com and start saving time with every shipment. That's two whole months of shipping made quick and painless, and it's free to try. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in LDS. ShipStation. Make ship happen. Leo and I were talking about, so the woman I just described, cataracts, a belly button full of lint and pus, she's, uh, she, she walks on one leg like a pirate, we would take her every day of the year, even over a Jason Momoa or Ryan Gosling or Derek Jeter type. Mm. I know I'm making it hard for you there, Leo. That's tough. Yeah. But you would still take the deformed woman. Mm, yeah. Because you have to. You have to. Because... We are a minority of men, and nothing wrong with men who choose to be homosexual, but we, for some reason, are very set in our ways. Yeah. We will not break that seal. And yeah, the ugliest woman in the world I would still face fuck over uh, the prettiest man, even if it's that guy that, it's that, that fucking, who you probably hit up Dino in Austin, the fucking makeup guy. He's in. He's a notorious James LA. Charles. Yeah, James Charles. Yeah. hits up straight guys. He, he has hit, hit me up as, before. This I do. Really? He hit you up. Really? He hits up Holy all the young guys. All of them. <laughs> Did you fuck him, to Austin? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Pull, Pull up James with. Charles. Pull up James Charles. He's pretty creepy, dude. His brother's a fan of our channel. Wait, but Austin, you gotta choose one. Are you plowing his ass or is he plowing yours? 
See this guy? No. Oh, Austin is <laughs> slamming into this fucking big is, dude. butt, dude. <laughs> I think this guy is. always posts ass pics. Austin is fucking No, this guy goes on... Ew, I, I, this guy. Mean. That's James Charles down, goes on Damn. dating apps, yeah. and he makes his profile a chick. Right. To match with straight guys. Yep. And then since I, I, have, I use this robot to just keep swiping on chicks for me, yeah. and then eventually I'll match with him, and he'll message me, and I'll have to unmatch with him, he and it's happened the, like four times. Yeah, me too, Ma yeah. Nez has matched with him more, numerous times as well. You, you, no. said, you just said me too. No, 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 no. I didn't match with him, but I matched with gay dudes that put their thing as woman. Because I use the same bot shit that Austin uses. If you guys so don't, I, don't I swear to God, if any of you matches with him and you don't try to set up a date right here in this podcast studio, you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You, the date will be here. It better be enticing. I don't mm -hmm. care what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I don't <laughs> Dude, care what bad. you have to do. He's wearing a woman's shit. swimsuit. I, it's not. Those aren't. That's a girl. So that's okay. But uh, nah, that's wait, so. Wait, that's so homophobic. I'm not homophobic. The, wait, Dude. click on the yellow one with Dude. the two people there. I just want to. He's, he's wearing a woman's swimsuit. This isn't TOS. Well, how does he get the tuck right, though, is what I'm saying. We're not bullying. Yeah, he gets either. that tuck. He gets dude. that tuck right, dude. Austin, He's got a little penis. If you don't let this guy, uh, uh, that was Leo Dottavio, not me. Hog tie you to his bed, <laughs> right, and then slam into oh, your God. unprotected little red oh, bubble oh, until he dude. ejaculates six oh. inches deep. You're fired. You know what? Pod. His brother's a fan of the I'll, channel. I'll take. I'll, I'll. That's fine. His it's brother okay with me. <laughs> his brother's a high fashion model who's watched the really? fucking channel. Oh really? Yeah, he loves the looking? channel. Whoa. Yeah, good looking. He's like a fucking super big fashion model. James Charles probably cleans up, man. He probably gets whatever he wants in the in the sex game. Dude, I'd rather be fired for sure. I know, dude. It's it's okay if you if you you can pass on the sex. I would try. lure him out here though. Lure for him the out pod, here. Though. Lure him out here. I'll try. We need a net gun. Yeah, what, what if we him, hit him with a net him? gun, and then we just had James Charles, and we're like, "Hey, if you want to complain that we're doing this, I know it looks bad—a bunch of straight guys yeah. luring a gay guy yeah. to their <laughs> podcast studio, and then but throwing hey, a net over him. <laughs> yeah, with a, with a, there's a net gun too, a, a novelty hey, net it's gun. Hey, it's a pride net, so but it's if okay. You, if you <laughs> tell anybody about this, we're going to expose your scheme where you're right. using bots to troll dating apps for 18 to 19 year old twinks straight guys what we'll do like we'll find guys. a 16 yeah. year old that looks sort of like me and then right whenever james gets here we'll do yeah. the old switcheroo and then we have the cameras yeah. rolling so we got blackmail yeah. we could easily catch like a good like 10 mil is he photoshopping those pigs like or is he taking some hormones or something to to, to have hips like that that's weird which one are, which the middle not, one yeah the middle one that, that i mean those aren't He's probably oh, that's him in the middle. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. I think he might have some surgeries. He's got some surgery. I think he's had a BBL. Maybe he got Look a BBL. At Look at the left too. He got a BBL done, dude. Maybe we're not because James Charles might sue us for anything we say here. Yeah, that's not yeah, yeah, yeah. provably true. Right. I'm sorry. We no, we, we can't say for certain, but Satire. if it's not, if you don't have a BBL, dude, those are some incredible fucking hips. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what kind of exercise routine you got going, but uh, it's impressive. He needs to teach the women how to get those hips. If a man can get them. Why aren't all women have those hips, yeah, dude? Nico, true. how is your, speaking of, Nico promised he was going to get into phenomenal shape by the 4th of July. Uh, it's not phenomenal anymore, but I am in better shape. And on the 4th of July video, I will take off my shirt and it will be proven. Take it off right now. No. It's not ready? Oh, he's going to do like a 36-hour fast. I'm going to cut weight out. this week dude, before our fucking Nico, thing. If you're not strong enough to hold up the shoulder-mounted camera, your physical fitness is irrelevant to me. Oh, we should, dude, I fucking have done a bunch of shit. Well, I'm afraid that you're going to call Leo up in the middle of the night, mm. and there's going to be a lot bad going on in your life. Jill is going to have like collected her things and driven to Tallahassee. And that was two years ago. You're going to be drunk, and you're going to call up Leo and be like, Leo, the only thing I have left is this 4th of July shirt off reveal. How can I get absolutely shredded in three days' time? Mm. Oh, I'll be like, you can't eat, and you can't drink water either. And what about supplements? Yeah. Nothing. Electrolytes. No Adderall, get, Leo? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely Adderall. Listen, you can probably just fast for 36 hours, but you're going to need about mm, 50 mil milligrams. 50 milligrams? What about fingers down the throat in the toilet? Sure, if you eat anything. I mean, if you do eat something, definitely throw it up. What about... The stomach acids will hurt your teeth and your throat. What, what about an amateur stomach stapling thing? Mm, yeah, go do it in Mexico. <laughs> You'll save money. Yeah, and then Nico's going to show up and he's going to be, uh, he's going to have thrown up a lot in the prior couple of days. He's going to have done the Adderall, the stomach stapling amateur thing. And we think he's going to film a good video. No, unfortunately, no. That'll be one of those videos he's asking for breaks all the time. He's trying to drink, constantly sneaking beers. Danny calls him out. Like, are you drinking? <laughs> are you drinking or something? What's going on? When I, dude, it's so 
The only time I really ask for breaks is in Vegas when I have to use the fucking Ronin. And we're just walking up and down the street. You guys are doing whatever you do. It's tiring holding that thing up. It's like 10 fucking pounds. Hey, you Imagine holding job. that above your sense. eyes. And, Nico, fucking, and you're unathletic and I, I was fatter too. I have no before. sympathy. I have, you know what, dude? You know what the next video is going to be? We're going to do the Badwater Marathon. Oh, the shit. height of summer out in Death Valley. And you're going to be following us as we run it with the Ronin. Uh, We're going to do a marathon with the Ronin, motherfucker. I'll hey, attach you, it to a golf cart that no, you rent for me. How, no. Dude, how far do you think we could uh, we could improv through a marathon? I think it, if we walked it, it would take us like 10 hours. King Croc, your phone's going on again. <sighs> I don't even know where it is. Yo, Austin. It was on top of Austin's the fucking Austin's high box, IQ solved dude. it. Solved the problem. Why do you have solved a creepy it. lullaby ringtone? Because dude, it's his like alarm that up. goes off to make him do math problems right. periodically. <laughs> it's honestly out of wait, control. Danny. Wait, what kind of math problems are you doing, dude? Forty-two plus sixty. Okay, so I thought like King. solve it. One hundred and two. There you go. Sixty-eight plus thirty-four. One hundred and two. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> That's the trick. They're all the same fucking answer. First of all, congratulations. Listen, Danny, I'm drunk, but I still demonstrated Wait, just how high my IQ actually is. Are you drunk? There's tequila no, I'm not in drunk. his coffee. No, no, no. Let's reveal that. No, this what is, is water. I was joking. No, no, give it to Nico. <laughs> I'm not Nico. like, give I'm not Nico. a drink. No, yeah, are you kidding? Don't give it to Nico. That's tequila. You can have a room full of drunks if that cup starts spreading around. Nico, here. that's tequila, dude. He's capping. He's capping. King, why is it important to you to do math throughout the day? Because it keeps my brain sharp. I have a DHV I have a motherfucker. I have a better right? idea for you, dude. You should start playing chess online. I could probably be really high elo if I really tried. You dude, know, when you I should... was in jail, bro, there was everybody but these <laughs> two <laughs> white kids. Nico. Or you, you, you don't wait, think you were in jail? I didn't know that. King Croc went to jail for, for just how? a moment. Okay, so it was, it was like it a was drunk a tank. Time. It was a drunk tank. But it was like a drunk tank kind of thing. It wasn't like, like you Danny, were there for. Danny did too. Yeah, I know that. Danny, that's a tough dude. His, I would cry like a little bitch. He shit out of Danny for jail, saying dude. that he said the line. He said the, 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 the fucking white boy line. He said, My dad's a judge. Right. And then the guy fucking donkey punched him in the head and yeah. said, Open your ass cheeks, little right. boy. I think I'm going to show you who the real judge is. I think you were reciting Jill's dialogue to you last night. Oh, Nico, hey, say your name. Close doors, baby. <laughs> Nico, tell, tell your nickname that you say to, that you call Danny on the road sometimes. Danny no, we Mull. Can't say, we can't say those you can oh, say those. It's we can't part of a name. It's a name. No. No, can't. we can't. It's, it's not going to play well. We Again, we can't lay out. Like, I know. We, uh, on this podcast, we can't be as open with the horrible, horrible things we say to each other behind the scenes. I know. Every night, Nico's going to the gay bar, going to ride a guy's rainbow pole. Mm -hmm. He will get fucked in the mouth and the nose and each of his ear holes till the gay guy explodes. I like that. I like <laughs> that. Can't forget that part. <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> Another day. See, you, you, know, can, you guys you, got tunes, man. No, Nico, we got tunes, Nico. Nico, your uh, your favorite video you've ever worked on. Uh, dude, that's too hard. We've had so many like fucking awesome ones. Like you can't, I I can't I choose one, dude. Like I enjoy. Every other, like every video I enjoy, so it's too fucking hard. To Let's do this. Actually, no, fuck that. I hated the cave diving video. Fuck that video. Every other video was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, Wizard of Oz video, that one was fun. Don't remember it. Don't even know it. <laughs> That's a different guy, dude. Nico, if we sat Jill down in here and we got a, an overhead projector, set it up right here, we fired it up. I have one. Is that the noise the projector it. makes? Oh, I like that. An old fashioned it has a four. Noise. You know, Three, I understand. Yes, who? One. Ding. She has seen the video. She's seen the Fourth of July, not the Fourth of July. Excuse no, me. she's Wizard seen of Oz. the Wizard of Oz video, and same with all of her friends. Oh wow! They all had a girls' night and because over wine I'm, and popcorn. Because I'm no, that. no, her friends did because they saw me in the thumbnail. Big viewed video, yeah. and they're like, "Oh shit, uh -huh. Nico's in this one. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. It must be fun." And I woke up to that text <laughs> saying that they were gonna watch it, and like they all have, we all have a group chat. And then I was like, "For the love of God, please tell me you guys didn't watch that one." Did like, they watch of, it? Yeah, they did. Dude. What did and they then think? Jill about? watched it. And What'd then you she say? was like, "I don't like that you drink that much." Really? I don't like the way you act. And I was like, "Well, shit." 
I don't. I do either, and I've never watched it, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> Nico, hey, Austin, can we please pull up the scene where Nico at the very Dude, end? Yeah. We're, not, we're trying to we're give him the lines. This. Yeah. Yes, we are. No, why? Danny Mullen, Wizard of Oz. The whole. I'm gonna stand behind the fucking TV. No, you're gonna watch. <laughs> I'm not under contract right now, guys. <laughs> so no, we're gonna I was go. Line, that's sick. Yeah, this is a great video. So we're going to go to Austin the very end. Mullen. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait, why don't you keep using that, dude? Why'd you stop using that? You, you stop using what? The Danny Mullen lion trademark. Uh, it's, it'd be good. So right about here. Keep going back, Austin. Keep going back. When we're trying to feed Nico's drunk ass lines to say right here, you can uh, go forward a little I'm bit. I'm oh, looking you great. straight in the eyes. <laughs> All right. And this then, is so good. Uh, you can play right now. You can play right now. Don't touch his car. If they call the cops, he's fucking dressed in wizard box. Fast forward a little bit, Austin. I'm not watching. This is here we go. It's gonna come right into it now. Crazy how close our studio is to this rainbow. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Fast forward through this, Austin. Sorry. Here we go. Nico, why are you so sad right now? You know. Gotta let them know what's up. Is that your lie? <laughs> if I'm I wish it was a George Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. okay, let's go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Action. No, no, when he says it. Action. I thought it was me who said it. No, it's me. Action. Wait, wait, wait. What's the phrase? If only I'm there was a way. <laughs> oh, if only there was a way back to Orange County. Because <laughs> why not? What's wrong with Hollywood? Well, why not? You're shook through. it up over the police, right? No, there is no way. <laughs> but why not? <laughs> why not back to Orange County? Yeah. Well, Hollywood we're over the rainbow right now. But why? Hollywood's the rainbow. Because, because you went boogie boarding. It's magic. Yeah. But that's the point. Dude, the Wicked Witch of the West might be able to help. Get, we understand yes. you have a message for, for the lost Dorothy. As a matter of hey, fact, up, I man? do. I do. What's so, wrong? I've heard, I've heard a thing that you got stopped by the cops. Why? To the, to the Wicked Witches, blue lives well, don't like matter. You. Well, why? <laughs> I have <laughs> I have a secret. I have a secret for Why? you. Why? What is the secret? If you want to get, if you want to get back to Orange County, why? Don't what? kiss. Don't kiss. Let, let him listen. He's gonna help you get home. If you want to get back to Orange County, you have to turn your hat around. The MAGA hat. The MAGA turn hat. your MAGA hat around, <laughs> and you need to grab one of them by the pussy. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is a funny fucking video. Oh, going to be. I'm gonna hit you. Yo, Nico's a chad, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't want to watch You're it. good, Austin. <laughs> if you need, if you want to get back to Orange I'm County, you, you can pause it, Austin. You have to turn Those your MAGA hat chicks. backwards, the ruby red MAGA hat backwards, and grab a girl by her by pussy. Person. He did it. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> They oh go, my god. Hey, you know what I just heard? This is semi related. It just brought me back to a uh, past era of the Danny Mullen channel. Cigar guy. Yeah? I got some intel. No. Oh shit. I'm excited. Yeah, this is exciting. I'm worried. It's yeah. not that bad. It, okay, it, good. It, it, it lends more credence to Brooks's argument that cigar guy was a not a double agent but a, a split personality dude mm -hmm. who wasn't showing him true self his true self to us mm -hmm. mm. he me and mia went out to dinner once at saddle ranch super pleasant great conversation i had a fine evening as we were leaving i think we all went back to mia's house too because that's where we parked for some reason we all wound up back there he saw that she had a hot tub and pool and asked if he could come by and use it sometime Huh. Mia said, sure, that's no problem, and gave him the gate code to the apartment in West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I guess, like, right away when Mia would leave and come home, he was taking advantage of it. Three days later, she comes back from Trader Joe's, and he's posted up smoking a cigar in the hot tub like he's lived there 25 years. <laughs> no way. She starts to regret it a tad bit. Then, fast forward to the present day. Atalia tells Mia at our stand-up show this weekend that Cigar Guy took Atalia to Mia's apartment complex hot tub one night and said it was his. <laughs> That's really funny. 
Evil genius, man. He was trying to bang Brooks's chick. Yeah. I guess this was early in Brooks's relationship with her, so she still felt comfortable going with Cigar Guy to a hot tub. Yeah. Cigar Guy tries to bang Italia at Mia's apartment <laughs> complex. I love it. Saying I gotta it's his. love it, dude. I gotta love it, dude. It's a great move. It's pretty Honestly, funny. Honestly, it's fucking awesome. Uh, but, but, you know, wrong, sure. Uh, I, I think uh, Cigar Guy was like any of us, you know, like a little, a little shady uh, occasionally. But I do miss him, and I hope he's doing well. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, I don't hate that move. We were telling King Croc on the Patreon episode last week, which was a great episode, and you people should consider subscribing to the Patreon. Please for- do. It's you know it's a toss up which episode each week is going to be better is it going to be the main channel or the Patreon exactly mm. the Patreon I mean look some sometimes we're we're right on it with the uh, the main channel uh, the main podcast we're we're ripping and roaring but sometimes you know we come out a little flat sometimes you know maybe I was up too late maybe some crazy shit happened but the Patreon pod we come in with such good energy like it's it's very relaxed and we you know we're so warmed up magic we've yeah, already we're done a show up. that we've week done a show that week it's it, some magic ensues but King Croc we were telling you because. King can't take women back to his place. He lives with his mom, and his room is still a little childish. Yeah. I don't mean to insult you. It's not an adult's room. No, you're right. You're right. So King Croc is trying to find a strategy for where to fuck women. Hotel rooms get a little expensive. I told King, dude, be a little dishonest. Say you commute up here to work on a very successful podcast from San Diego County, and therefore you don't have a designated place to take women. That gives you the pass to get sucked in your car. Yeah, no, that's that's yeah, such dude. a good move. And San Diego is just undrivable. There's no chick that's even, no matter what kind of trooper or Adderall she's on, she's not going to do the two and a half hour <laughs> treacherous drive to San Diego. Very treacherous. It's so Perfect. many freeways and it's so annoying. And there's there's always that. so much traffic. It's the worst drive ever. There's quick stand mm. down there too. I believe, yes, there is. And the- uh, I know somebody got stuck in it. Uh, What's that good? I was going to say, Leo, the five goes all the way we, down we there. Got, it's uh, one freeway. We got no backup Shut up, right now, guys. Nico. No, Not if you use Waze. I'm going to put a new SD card in it. The five but, is like a fucking parking lot all the way to San Diego. So you got to use Waze. And well, it, you can do it the makes you go five, six oh five cross, dude. Right. I'm driving back and forth. I, to San Diego? Sometimes. I mean, when Joe lived down there, yeah, I know both fucking ways from the middle. Nico, let's get back to your jerk off habits. Um, Want to hear about this? How often yeah. are you jerking off? And does it, uh, does it affect your ability to make love after you jerk off that morning? No, it doesn't. It's never really. I've never had a problem reloading. I can instantly. I'm like, hey, give me two seconds, and then I'm fucking back up, and ready to go. Why aren't you a porn star? Why aren't you coming with me to No Jumper tomorrow? Because yeah, if Adam Twenty Two is making fun of dicks that aren't big i don't want to be fucking ridiculed on camera with <laughs> actual proof that i don't have a big dick it's not small but it ain't big which mm. adam 22 says if you don't have a big dick then you got a small dick no Did he say that no he, he said that. that at the fucking pot when i went to drop off i swear to god he said that to swolby when he was there nah, last time i don't remember that might have blocked that out though because see that's what i'm <laughs> i blocked it out as a- i don't consider personally i don't consider it the real thing because i'm not in my prime form you know, you're looking at a de-evolved version of me, so you can't really take my cock at, at face value. You know, you're what saying mean? because you're a little overweight. You think yeah, dude, there's... dude. When I lose weight, I gain like probably three inches, dog. <laughs> no way, dude. So That's I turn into a works. monster. <laughs> I think... dude. That Dick Kazumi was grabbing on yeah. was some. That was some Dragon Ball Dick percentage. That, that was some. Give me percentage. What listen, listen. You know how in Dragon Ball they have Super Saiyan, no. Super Saiyan two, Super Saiyan three. That was some Kai, Kai form. Do you Go understand what he's saying? Unfortunately, okay, you guys like are not a, weeps. I like, understand. He's pretty much like an open micer versus. I know you understand. You know, Leah, sing a song about how Nico's gay to the tune of "Every Morning" by Sugar Ray. God damn it! Leo is so untalented with this with kind the, of shit. Music, it's yeah. gonna be great. Let's go. Every day, Nico goes around and asks a random guy so he can smoke his cock. (laughs) He doesn't care if it's infected or small or even if it's fucking big. He goggles on his car. Yeah, that's all I got. Dude. Hey, <laughs> it's not bad. Good. That's the great thing about Sugar Ray every morning. You can put whatever <laughs> lyrics into it that you yeah. want. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of a classic, dude. King Croxley's favorite fucking thing is the Chinese Communist Party. <laughs> 
He thinks it's irresponsible for all society's ills and everything. He won't be the fucking CCP. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part of it. You hate the CCP, don't you, Kate? Yeah, I fucking despise them. I love the Chinese people. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, the, the government, CCP. no. My girlfriend's Chinese, so yeah, you better fucking watch your words over there, buddy. Dude, I, I appreciate Asian people. I love them. I just, that, that's going to be my new way to not get canceled. Whenever anybody says anything about China, I'm just going to get super offended for the sake of my girlfriend. That's great. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? The fuck? Yeah, not, I'm dating I'm... a minority. Watch your, you, don't, you can't speak on the, the Asian predicament until you walk a mile in their shoes. Uh -huh. What's that, Leo? More oh, like great. sandals. I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> sandals is you right, can't, nigga. You can't speak on Asian issues until you spend a night in their kimonos. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Keith Grok, I was going to say that my, my more well-traveled African-American friends say that going to China is completely unbelievable for a black man, especially a big black man. It's because the know? jails are different. Too. <laughs> Stop. What the fuck is the uh, jails? Are different? Explain, explain that joke. Unpack yeah. that joke for us. Um, is it like a rape joke? Like he gets to fuck dudes in prison, or yeah. they won't put him in jail? Essentially, what do you think? he's gonna have the biggest dick in that jail, so he's gonna run it. So it's a lot different than American prisons, where you know he gotta run the block. And over there, he doesn't have to run the block; he runs the walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he runs oh, the shit, walk, dude. Dude, imagine, imagine Chinese Kate jail's got to be fucking hell, dude, dude. He would be using Chinese guys' assholes like edamame. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking them willy-nilly and oh throwing out their... God, just dropping dude. their limp, empty bodies on the floor. Oh, my God. After he deposits a big fucking... A fucking half liter king. of semen. You could semen be king over there. No, but I heard some... Honestly, I've heard a lot of horror stories with African-American people in the CCP because... You know, face matters over there, like their reputation and things like that. Like, there's this one um, ex NFL player who he he refused a drink from like these influential um, uh, uh, communist Chinese party members, mm -hmm. and because of this, they started fucking fucking with them. He beat up a couple of them, and he's been in jail ever since. It's been like twenty years or some. Don't shit. get in a fight. Yeah, you cannot, if you're, especially if you're black. Oh, yeah, I know. I yeah. can't even imagine. They are, I mean, I've, I've heard that Disney, I don't know if this is true or not, but John Landa told me this, that Disney removes the African Americans from the posters in China. They, they do. do. Yeah, they yeah. removed the black stormtrooper from The Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. And the Middle East, too. Yeah. Hypocrites. Here's the deal, dude. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what this week's video, King Croc, the black-owned business, is going to yeah. be about the hypocrisy of Disney. Essentially, that... Disney is out here trumpeting these social causes. Oh, we must be able to talk to second graders about transitioning into women. We have to be able to do that. China, you know, we just take the black man out of the poster. You know, that's totally all right with us. But here's my policy. The only places I will go in the world outside of America is Canada, the UK, Australia, and maybe like Germany or Spain and a few of those other countries I'm half assed on. Like, I don't really have any desire to go to Canada and be subject to dictator Trudeau's whims. I, I'm oh, I would be worried that we they'd lock us up. Yeah, dude, you guys have committed hate speech numerous times. Yeah, I know. To be honest, you well, that was just criminals. when I was talking to you in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. We could be criminals in, in, uh, in what they consider you hate up late, speech. To be fair. Uh, yeah. Hate speech. <laughs> what Canada considers hate speech. Yeah, you know, right. They, that, that one couple sued that comedian for like calling them lesbians. He like was doing some crowd work. Wow. Called them lesbians and then they were able to sue him and the government over there were fucking they're like, yeah, sue him. They actually hate won. Speech. Yeah, the girls won. Holy shit. King, and I'm sorry to cut you off to make a crude joke about me being mean to you, but yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a blast from the past on our fucking channel. Remember Marty McFly? Oh, my God. Marty McFly was a Canadian guy who called into this podcast a lot. He became a, a legend. He almost had a rat dick Ralph like trajectory on the channel. He was like his and it was unbelievable. It was just on the phone. And yep. he was incredible. Became we a were, star. We wanted to fly him out. Was Zero just, to a, a hundred. Yeah. Just, everybody loves him. This guy is a fucking staple of the channel. Because he'd call in. He'd be like, oh, Mr. Mullen, I'm, I'm thinking about shooting a video in my backyard. Do you want to uh, analyze it on the podcast for me? And we would look at the video. <laughs> yeah. And it would just be him like in a pair of underwear chugging a beer yeah. on an old El Camino in like <laughs> zero degree temperatures. Like this is the worst fucking video ever. But Ooh, then, Mr. Mullen. Do you remember the video that he that got him on the map though? Do you, Nico? I was going to say, is this the guy who's like rich in crypto? 
No. Nico, uh, Nico is so out of touch with the podcast going on. Oh, you know, we should fire you based on that comment. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about Hobbit Hand Hooch, asshole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a different apologies. character. Hobbit, Hobbit Hand is still, uh, I think he's wealthy still. He's lost a little money with Bitcoin, but he had he's he was well versed. He has other safety nets and stuff. He did get in a fight though. You got right, but we can get back to the oh, uh, anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll talk about it later. That. Nico, but, uh, yeah, we'll go back. Line, Nico, is there's a world of difference between Marty McFly and Hobbit Hand Hooch? Yes. And if you ever mistake the two of them again, I'm coming Noted. down to your apartment. Mm-hmm. Noted. Now, Marty McFly then did one of the craziest videos any of our fans have ever done. Oh, yes, I did, Mister Leo. He put a huge strap on uh, phallus, a, a dildo on. He, Ooh, it was 12 inches to be exact. It was flesh colored, 12 inches, huge. He posted a story. Like, uh, he kept tagging us and everything. Anyway, he went up, uh, he went to a church. Yes, I did. Whipped this thing out. and then He went to his childhood church. His childhood Damn. church. <laughs> in front of 200 people. Uh, whipped it out and then proceeded to say each and every one of our names. Uh, and, uh, we got, I think you were in the, he named you in there too. Nico, you don't even know who this guy <laughs> is. And he has been, so this is what we're getting to. Yeah. yeah, from what I can remember, it was when they were doing communion or people were getting up to drink the blood of Christ. He runs up on stage, slams a bottle of wine with a massive artificial erection and starts mm-hmm. screaming, Danny Mullen freed the slaves. A day later, he's in all the newspapers yeah. for being arrested for hate speech yeah. and committing a hate <laughs> no, crime. No, it's I don't know if it's that Damn. funny. I don't know where he is. He's oh. disappeared. Yeah. He, we have not heard from or seen him since that happened, and it's very possible that he's still in the custody of the Canadian government. I hope not, dude. That's kind of scary. He's man. in the Canadian gulag. He might be. Dude, we got to go save him, dude. Trudeau's down there. You do not have the right to storm a church in Canada. It is not a constitutional right. <laughs> Fuck Trudeau. That guy is so scary, Leo. I like to fucking hate that guy. Man. I would double team a girl with him, though. He's very attractive. He gets a lot of pussy, I heard. And I think, yeah, he does. It's true. Would you double team a girl yeah. with him while he was in blackface? <laughs> <laughs> is it bad? Can you do black arms and black legs and leave your face white? Yeah, try it, Nico. <laughs> I'm asking you guys. I don't know. Paint yourself black <laughs> and show up to a wedding with chill. Face. I uh, I think you can. Fell asleep on the beach. I'm sorry, guys. You get you what can. can I say? What do you guys say? We watch a couple of videos from the fans. Speaking of a fan, maybe we'll find our next Marty McFly. Yeah. We're thinking, yeah, we're thinking about having a new segment where we watch some videos. They're, they're going to be short. We had to be about a minute. I got a, got a good amount of submissions. If we don't get to it this episode, we might get to one on another episode or other Patreon pods. The reason to subscribe. But yeah, I wanted them. I wanted to know what they do, where they're from. A fun fact about themselves mm-hmm. and then a question they might have for yeah. us. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what we got so far. So we do have some fun videos. I picked a couple and let's see how many we, we can get to. You want to fire up the first one, well, Austin? Maybe nice. before, maybe before Leo, can we get King Croc to do every morning by Sugar Ray about how Nico's a homo? I would love that. Can we do that? Ready? I never heard the song before. But... So it just goes, every morning there's a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. Just use that melody, but make it about how he's like a gay guy. Every morning he goes tooting his ass up, <laughs> so he gets delved in his rectum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah like tooting his ass up. Nico, so oh, why, why are you so particular about getting your ass tooted up? <laughs> yeah, dude. Every morning, man. Yeah. Give me that other, I wanted that other know. kid to go first. Give me that other kid first. Blonde kid, okay. Yeah, the blonde kid. <laughs> Did anyone just send you their dick? <laughs> All right, yeah, let's pull it up. There it is. All right, hmm. this is the first one, guys. This kid looks like he's full of pep. Oh, yeah. Hi, Leo and Danny. My name is Joe, and I'm a laborer for an electrical company. And fun fact about me is I had a threesome with a girl named Carson and my best friend Dylan, and I pulled the Benedict Arnold. I got the inspiration from wow. you, Danny. I pulled wow. out from Doggy with Carson, and I came on his ankles and knees. Nice. Oh. <laughs> but a uh, question for you, Danny. Would you rather have Fan Jerry or Dino fuck Mia if you had to pick? Because oh, okay. Fan Jerry's more repugnant, but Dino, you're with him every week. So that might be hard to pick. All right. I love you guys. Keep up the good work on the podcast. 
Thank you, man. That guy is hitting positive. Man, dude. This is like Joe, right? Dude, he's huffing yeah. paint for sure. Look at those eyes. He didn't blink once he's that entire fucking time, Don't dude. talk about this nice fan's look. <laughs> he's, he's a laborer for an electrical company, yeah. Nico, and that is boring work. Yeah, he might be sending the charges into his own body. Yeah, that's he's, okay. He's using uh, Ben Franklin's discovery as a way to get high. Honestly, I think that the, his performance in the video was great, though. I like the exactly. energy. Yes. Well, I so first of all, to answer his question, yeah. and I'm gonna have you keep that video up, uh, Austin. So we're gonna we're gonna rewind a couple things. The other one, Hi, Leo to and answer Danny. his question, fan Jerry, fan Jerry, fan Jerry. Wow. Why? Because when it comes to and Nico, I know you understand this very well. We've talked about it many times on the road. When it comes to having to have your girlfriend get fucked by somebody, you want her to enjoy that fuck sesh as little as possible. Uh, Van Jerry's got the much smaller penis than Dino, mm -hmm. and I think from an objective standpoint, he's much worse looking, though Dino is gaining on him. Yeah, I know. Dino. <laughs> <laughs> cut Must your hair, eat. Dino. Cut your hair and eat? Have Maybe. you heard of a meal? So, right. Dino putting that massive penis <laughs> into Mia, and a, apparently, girls have been saying Dino's hot. Dude, and every DMs. time I put him, I put him up on my story, dude. It's the weirdest thing, dude. I don't know. We're we're fucked. Get it away. Yeah. Get it away. Mm -hmm. It's 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 simple, man. If a guy is having sex with your girlfriend and his penis thickness, his penis gauge is beneath your own. I'm still going to give my girlfriend a black eye if I catch her in the act, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like we can re we can mend the relationship still. Yeah, I feel like we can still move on. Leo, if Scotty Chickens had his cock up your ex oh. when you came back with a load of groceries in your arms, what would you have done? I mean, I'm just turning around and uh, I think I'm calling you. Yeah, I think I'm calling you, and then uh, probably just uh, maybe Nico. Maybe call. I, maybe I just go straight to Laguna Beach. Nico's such good energy. I'll just get hammered with Nico. Yeah, uh, so that's easy. Yeah. Fan Jerry, Fan Jerry, Fan Jerry. Mm -hmm. Also, can we replay this clip real quick? I want to hear what this kid said about the Benedict Arnold once more. <laughs> yeah. My name is Joe, and I'm a laborer for an electrical company. And fun fact about me is I had a threesome with a girl named Carson and my best friend Dylan. And I pulled the Benedict Arnold. I got Press the inspiration pause. from you, Danny. I For advice to this kid. Uh -huh. I assume he's seeking advice, even though his only question had sure. to do with Dino or Fan Jerry. Don't tell girls you're a laborer at an electrical company. Yeah. That sounds like yeah. one notch up from a slave. Yeah. It sounds like he might be stamping license plates down at the local penitentiary. Yeah, say that you are an electrician. There they we make are. a lot of money. They make a lot of money. It's a dangerous job. You could spin it like, yeah, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I have to wear these rubber gloves and these these rubber shoes. And if, if things go wrong, I could die. But, you know, I'm smart and mm -hmm. I try. I can't drink at work. I'll tell you that much. I have to be really sober and mm -hmm. focused because mm -hmm. at any moment's notice I could die. Mm -hmm. What well, paint do? huffing's uh, fine. Paint huffing's fine, dude. Yeah, he might huff paint. Joe, Dylan, and Carson all had a threesome. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, if God was looking at, at this just through the transcript, if he just like, oh, this man Joe had sex with Carson and Dylan, I don't think Joe would get into heaven. Yeah. So when you're having a threesome, you know, I, I think in general, when you're having sex with women, try to have sex with a girl with a woman's name. I would say Carson's a little, it's more, I'd say it's. Oh, Carson's a girl's name? Yes. Yeah. That's, I mean, it, it has to be more of, it's more often than not a male's name. That's yeah, okay. It's, it's just a problem. Because like, what if Leo, you're Jessica. telling the story yeah. like, oh, I got, yeah, Carson, she's, or maybe you don't even say she. You're just like, yeah. yeah, Carson sucked my dick once, but you're in Mobile, Alabama. Right. And a guy with a Confederate flag waving from his truck <laughs> overhears that. My fucking bust a cap in your ass, buddy. It's you, dangerous. That could be your last day on earth. I don't want that coming down to my town. He you breaks you a beer bottle, sticks you in the ribs with it. <laughs> you fuck Carson? I know Carson. He's my cousin. Carson? Hey. Yeah, he's living in L.A. He's one of them gays. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> yeah, dude. You don't want that. Like so that's, that that's my advice. But this kid doing a Benedict Arnold, uh -huh. that means he is ground floor Danny Mullen fan. That was the yeah. original name of the Facebook page that I started posting video content on. Uh -huh. And he knows about the orgies that took place in San Francisco. And if they don't know what the Benedict Arnold is, quickly explain Danny so people if people don't know. It's what I'm going to do to King Croc this weekend. Oh, nah, my God. See, I knew it was some such shit. Honestly, 
So well, the, not, Benedict, not the Benedict Arnold, you come on the other dude's leg? Yeah, is that, that's not gay. Or anything on his, anywhere on his body, really. King Rock, tell wild. me how that's gay. It's gay as hell. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's super gay. Like, no, like why? Coming tell, on another guy. Tell me, how, tell me how it's gay. Okay, so you get the satisfaction, right? So you're ejaculating. And instead of putting that on the woman, yeah. which is our fantasy, you put it on the dude. Which is like, <laughs> For oh, the humor. But yeah. you don't touch the dude. But you just came all over him, dude. It's like hella gay. But what if, but what if, uh, what if, like you, you spit on somebody because they insulted you in the street? Is that's that gay? Different. No, that's that's bodily fluid is landing on somebody. Okay, but that's more gangster. That's like yeah. you're punking them. Like, yeah, I spit on you. It's not you punking do? somebody to jizz all over the back of their knees. It is kind of punking them though. You think about it. <laughs> Therefore, it's gangster. I would have Apparently, to get down to some idea to me. The way bro. Danny describes it, it's most of the, the threesomes were really done for the humor. Were a lot of them, right? It's a little gay, King Croc. I'll admit. Little, yeah. Where did it's, you get the name for it? The Benedict Arnold, because I'm trying to think which came first, the comedy channel or the sex move. It was definitely the sex move. And it just the sex move is an act of betrayal, supreme yeah. betrayal. And what's the most famous act of betrayal in American history? It's the Benedict Arnold. So did you oh. name it yourself? Yeah, I came up with it. I did <laughs> nice. it Damn. and I fucking named it. <laughs> Urban Damn. Dictionary, put my name on the entry. <laughs> yeah, they the should. Benedict Arnold. Me and it was me, a buddy of mine I can't name. A kid, Jacob from Sweden, and then this dude, Ryan Cove, who has since fled the United States as a tax refugee. Wow. I jizzed Whoa. all over his fucking legs. You're welcome, IRS. Yeah. I fucking got this guy before he could escape your grip. Hey, that's Jesus. Yeah, this they guy, owe you. The IRS should send you a check for that. I should get whatever money he fucking owes them. Start Be sending it to you. He owes. This is what the deal was. He owed twenty grand. I can run down this kid's history real quick. I've told the Benedict Arnold story many times. Basically, some obese girl that he would bring over to blow him blew four of us one night when we were all drinking, wearing costumes. We just turned it into a party, basically. And I, before I came all over her, decided I could put my ejaculate to better use. And I crept into the other room where everybody was partying, waiting their turn. And I just lit Ryan Cove up. You are a sick son of a bitch. Dude. I painted his fucking legs. Did Let you me laugh I... hysterically after? Oh, I felt great. <laughs> dude. Leo, have you done that before? No, I, no, no, no. Yeah, I, you I don't think... I, I'm one of those guys... I mean, look, I, I don't know if it's a... I just... I don't think I could really get hard during a threesome yeah, how are you I, I have, a, I have an accustomed because he started he started okay when you're at your testosterone when you're 19 that's when you can probably do all the shit so if you get used to it like if i would have to practice it i, I just don't have the urge to to really have a threesome uh more than you know i've never done it so yeah, I, I just i just had to have the urge so dude. no I, I haven't been able to I, look i'm not completely counting it out i'm just saying like i don't know how it worked for you me. would have a threesome with nico yeah, that's, uh, that's you, just Nico, fun. and a chick. That's, that's that would be fun. Be you fun. and Nico and a chick would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, That'd be hilarious. this That'd guy, be this guy though, he uh, toward the end of our stint in San Francisco, we were living at seventy four Eastwood Drive. He would call his parents all the time. Or his mom, rather, his dad died in nine eleven and left a massive trust fund. Damn, the oh mom shit. though, and the rest of this guy's family withheld the funds from him because they knew he was such a derelict. He would drink every single day, whiskey. Evan Williams from 10 a.m. until 2 a.m. 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. That's a six hour no drinking window. Wow. Am I doing that math right? Eight hour no drinking window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Complete degenerate. And would then when they would ref refuse to give him the funds, he took to calling them up and telling them he was going to kill himself. Oh my Damn. God. He thought that was the only way to what actually gain asshole. access to the money. I guess they finally got bullied into giving him the money. Because now he has a yacht and he's somewhere off the coast of Thailand or the Philippines and he refused to pay the United States a measly 20 grand that he owed them in taxes, which when you receive, I think, damn near a million dollars in trust fund money, that's a fucking parking ticket. Right. He refused to pay it. And now the fines have escalated to some astronomical number. So he's going to be like a tax refugee for the rest of his life. Oh he he's God. decided to just not come back to America. Where does he live? I don't. You yeah. know what? I'm glad he's not coming back to a fucking America. We don't need that guy. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, he's, he's a, not a serial murderer or anything, though, is he? He um, he had a bunch of uh, sex swings and like ropes and shit oh, that he was trying to tie good. girls up with. But he couldn't oh, get shit. laid. So he couldn't get laid. Ooh, that's that's the start of something. Bad, yeah. sinister. I don't like it. Yeah. Yes, the start of something sinister. The start of it. We're gonna 100%. see a video of him on his boat with a like a Starbucks frappuccino. Like, why don't women like me? Oh, I'm God. handsome. 
I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> How funny would it be if it panned? If it panned over and Cigar Guy was there. He's like, you are handsome. Yeah. You are smart. He worked he's on a yacht. Cigar gentleman. Guy used to work on he's a yacht. He's the supreme gentleman. There's yeah, going to be a guy. harpoon gun on the front of his boat. And he's just going to spear <laughs> some local girl getting sun on the beach. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That Let's watch another video of these fans. All right. Let's go to the next video. I think, honestly, you could pick so, any of them. Danny, my name Turn over. It's Joey. I'm from Whittier, California. Joe and Joey. Uh, LA County area. Currently serving in the U.S. Navy. Actually, about to yeah. serve my four years. I'm a hospital oh, yeah. corpsman stationed up here in Washington. Corpsman's basically like the Navy version of a medic, essentially. So I just give like COVID shots and do shit like that. Um, I guess a fun fact about me is uh, when I was stationed in Florida, like peak COVID time, I threw like a fat rager, like no social distancing nothing and it was actually like the neighbor from next door came to our party and we made him do keg stands and he blacked out and ended up uh actually falling into the water and hitting his kind of the rocks he actually died and it like made local oh. news it was crazy um Jesus and then question for you guys is how much would the fans no have remorse. to pay to see uh all the crew members gangbang rat pussy pam like stephen king uh, style what novel is that from it's from it, it. it. yeah dude okay so uh, in the they movie fuck a fat chick in the sewer no they fucked that red-headed girl in the yeah. new one they pretty much all those kids they all gangbang her in the book yeah in the, in the, in wait, the wait, movie wait. they overcome their fear to right. become adults, but in the book, they all gangbang the one girl wow. to become adults, so that wow. its powers no longer work. Anymore. I like that version better. <laughs> oh, I like I Stephen thought, King's a six son of a bitch. Yeah, the uh, the movie version felt a little flat for me, Leo. Mm -hmm. I think a coming of age gangbang really would have put some pep into the film, don't you think? <laughs> Legit that would have made coming it. of age. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not the going. It's the <laughs> so wow, this guy did, dude. He was responsible for a death. This is gnarly. Kind of gnarly. I, I think he should no longer be a part of our armed forces. Yeah, he threw a party. <laughs> he got but, it. But got then it. again, you know what? I mean, Mudflap could have very well overdosed on alcohol and died in San Francisco <laughs> last year. Yeah. And that would have been more my fault than this individual's death on the rocks at Joey's hands here. Haven't we all been to a party where someone's died? I, Tell us. Yeah. Nope. Well, uh, I I know I was at least at I was at least I was at at least one where a guy passed out in the garage on the couch and everyone thought he was just asleep, but then the next morning, like the girl's mom just found the dude like dead there on the couch. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's scary. Drugs. Yeah. What? It was like uh, fake Roxy, probably had fentanyl in it. Mm -mm -mm. Fentanyl kills so many people. Fentanyl is really the budge I needed, Leo, to stop doing any sort of drugs. Yeah. Cocaine, no more. Can't do it because of fentanyl. And now I'm starting to hear that fentanyl is making its way into Adderall. What? Uh, which I used to think was a nice little party supplement. I would always take it when I was in Vegas or New Year's Eve or whatever. That's gone, too. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I've messed with Adderall in a while. I'm thinking about just getting a prescription for it, dude. Fuck it. Should we just have some on deck? If no, we need it? just dude. We're wonder. big time. We should be able to get some doctors to just, just write mad, a script, man. dude. <laughs> Think about it, dude. Yeah, hey, you're on the No Jumper podcast, gang. Yeah, sure. it's Matterall. What else would you, you know? Get? It's Gang dude. Car? It's the feds though with the fentanyl thing. No drug supplier wants to kill their you know people buying it. The feds are the ones who want us to get off those drugs. So that's why the feds are sprinkling it and everything, so they can get people. CCP as well. I like it. It's Carpet. probably the CCP, Nico. Okay, sorry. I think, well, no, you, you I think better they work apologize. together. I think you they better fucking apologize. Oh, yeah. but, All also, the but also fentanyl, you could also just smoke fentanyl in the right quantities, and right. it won't kill you, right? No, it's a hundred times the effects of heroin, apparently. Because bums are using fentanyl all the time in San Francisco to get yep. high, right? You now. can yep. do fentanyl in yeah. a way that won't kill you. It's just, it's just the, the amount of cocaine that you do. You think you need like a big line, and then that much fentanyl will fuck you up, you know? So then and you, a, a you tiny fuck little up amount up. of fentanyl. I think it's less than a than a penny the size the size of it, the surface area, and it, it'll kill you. I'm, I'm saying we can't rule out the cartels and the drug producers though because i mean look at alcohol how many people a year die of alcohol overdose or traffic accidents or right. liver cirrhosis a lot yeah but vodka companies are still selling bottles and we love Stella artois like still fucking slinging shit oh yeah we you love think anybody ever overdose for marijuana no can't 
I mean, Dino's going to be the first one to do it. Or though, it's declassified yeah. and they don't want to let you know that marijuana can kill you, man. I it, did watch a documentary from Vice and they were in Brazil and they were they went to like the head person who's this chick who's running this like uh, it's called Tusi and it's just they call it pink cocaine but it's really they found during this interview that it's just a whole bunch of shit mixed together and they asked him like do we put do you put fentanyl in it and they were just like yeah i mean people are going to die but at the end of the day we need to make our money and if you put just a little bit of fentanyl it can fuck you up so they save a lot of like of money by just putting a little bit of fentanyl and weakening whatever cocaine or whatever they have. You hear that? It's risk reward, Nico. Think about uh, Fight Club. Remember the equation, the formula in the Ford car fuel injectors? Mm -hmm. Car companies know a certain amount of people are going to be burned alive by a malfunction in their newest SUV. But they run the formula. How much are the out of court settlements going to cost versus the cost of a recall or an alternative to that broken fuel injector that won't kill people? And if the settlements are higher, then maybe they recall it. But if they're lower, people are burning up, motherfucker. People are burning up. Same with fentanyl. Uh, Dino, would you let James Charles blow fentanyl up your ass with a straw? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to fucking happen. I like that Dino has a question, right? It, it is kind of nice that Dino doesn't have a mic, so you can just say things like that. <laughs> yeah. And the audience can fill in that his answer is yes. Yeah, yeah. Every time. <laughs> It is, it is, yeah. No, but play, okay, so what What do you say about Rap Pussy Pam? It would, how much to... How much would a fan have to pay for to see everyone in the crew King fuck Pam, Pussy Pam, Stephen King style, in a gutter? Mm. Damn. Let's talk about it. So, first of all, you have to pay a rat dick and a rat pussy. Yeah, you yeah. gotta pay a rat dick, for That's, sure. You're gonna have to pay their internet bill and maybe their electrical bill. And buy them maybe, you know, some Taco Bell. Shrooms, yeah, yeah. shrooms <laughs> with, a, with a bag of Taco Bell. If you get married to take a bunch Bell. of shrooms, yep. it's like uh, I know you got to test your odds whether or not you're going to be able to lowball him really hard, or if he's going to start asking for an absurd amount of money. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we get him loaded up on shrooms. We take him to his like swap meet he goes to. Then we bring him a couple of uh, Mexican pizzas, a chalupa, maybe a churro. <laughs> Just throw that at Rat Pussy Pam. Just fucking throw it at her. Then we pay, <laughs> then we pay the electrical bill and we Fuck pay you, the dude. fucking water. Yeah, there it is. All right. All right. And it just like Leo throws it. Mm, just hard. A lot of power. <laughs> Next, who really needs to get paid here, I believe his name was Joey, who the money comes down to, I mean, how much are you going to have to give Leandro to Tavio to put his penis in Rat Pussy Pam? Mm, I have to do it for free. That's a surprise. She's I know gorgeous. you'd get sucked by her for free. You said Beautiful. that, and that's not a joke. I'm attracted to Rat Pussy Pam. I've never seen her. She she can look. Yeah, she's not uh, bad. Oh shit. Yeah, Rat Dick can pool, bro. Rat Dick's a pan. You dude. and Rat Dick should hit the Grove sometimes. Just run a game. That's all. That's how that would be the best thing. I would love, <laughs> honestly, Rat Dick. If you want to come out into the field with me, bro, let's do it. Bro. Oh let's my shit. god, that'd, that'd be incredible. incredible. You know I'm a trooper, dog. I am I'd going to. What were we saying? Like, I think I was. What do you think, Nico, or you? You? What about you? Because I think it's, it's over with me if you do this. Huh. If you do a porn with Rap Pussy Pam, it is over with your <laughs> yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think what Mia would need for me. Yeah, I don't know if he said if it was necessarily a porno or just what a fan would have to pay to come watch. Oh, so it could be a such thing. That's true. It could, could be a secret still. It could be a private yeah. event. Hey, Ever since secret, the we'd all do it for free for a secret. Uh, yeah, just like, for the funny. <laughs> that's the thing. It's the a comedy that comes with. Oh, these we're doing things. it for free, baby. <laughs> if if I had to pay me off, I'm trying to think how much money Mia would have to receive. I think if Mia, I put her in some new Lululemon yoga pants, mm -hmm. maybe get her a Louis Vuitton purse, I think we're square. That's about three grand. <laughs> I think so. You're good. King, how much money do you need to slam into this fucking ball of Stop cheese? It. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, She's gorgeous. I've never seen her, but out of respect for rap man, you know, 70 bucks. There you go. You could buy. Uh, <laughs> Wait, buy is it more of an of insult to be cheaper or on the higher end? It's more of an insult to need a ton of money to do yeah, it. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. If you need a Brinks truck to get on top, that's not <laughs> saying good things. But then that's yeah. also rat dick being like, well, yeah, my bitch is only worth 70 bucks. Uh, no, we're talking about this is that doesn't involve rat dick at all. Rat no. dick has already been paid a chalupa and a churro. Oh. Right. <laughs> we're talking about what we're okay. getting. He's been paid. Sorry, I was <laughs> lost. Now I understand no the problem. financial no thing. Okay. For so, me, I would do it for free as long as i knew that everybody else would do it but i would also want to go first so 
But then I would be worried that everybody else is just going to be lying and they're going right. to be like, jokes on you. You had to fuck Rat Pussy Bam by yourself. <laughs> yep. And this is this is not an insult toward Rat Pussy, but Rat Dick has revealed he has a form of hepatitis. Mm. Hepatitis, mm. we all know, is sexually transmitted. Mm. So I am going in there with a Trojan regular, not an extra thin, and I might also duct tape an oven mitt over the top of that. <laughs> Well, you'll have some size. She'll need, she'll need a little lube. A little she will. Lube. She would need a little <laughs> bit of extra lube. The friction could be painful. It could. But she I will be protected. Orgasm. She might reach orgasm. She might reach orgasm. Yeah. And I suggest all of you guys find your own form of penis defense, too. Mm, this okay. is serious. We might need to... Um, Anybody's getting, anybody eating her pussy? Dental dams. Nico. Yeah, you need a dental dam. I think dam. Nico's probably the best of all of us in the uh, <laughs> with the, in the old oral department. No, it it'd probably it probably be lovely eating rat pussy pants. Yeah. Nico, do you eat Jill's pussy a lot? Of course, who tell, wouldn't? Tell us eat, a, we all eat fucking our girlfriend's pussies. They taste. We all we, we all do mostly do eat. We, <laughs> do we? Well, he would eat his side chick's pussy. Wow. <laughs> Oh. Nico, what if I told you that the only thing me and I do sexually is she blows me? I would be like, how the hell did you get that fucking business deal? It helps to be a star. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm a star. Nico, I, I would love to see Nico eating some pussy. I would. Oh, dude, my I've, God. If we had a porn tape, Leo, I was thinking about this earlier. It just seemed a little too stupid to say. If we had a porn where it was Tarzan and Jane. Oh, my and God. Nico came into the room with a grass skirt and a spear and a bunch of face paint, and he was fucking blacked out. <laughs> and he like fucked Jill while she was wearing a coconut bra. Uh, it would be the Nirvana of comedy, comedy Nirvana. It'd be the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Like, and if it was well lit and HD, because Nico's girlfriend Jill is fucking hot. <laughs> She's, She's hot, like a good looking chick. To yeah. see Nico as we know him, just neeked out of his mind, dressed like Tarzan, <laughs> I would, uh, Nico, I would give anything to see you. Yeah, fuck that like would that. be incredible. <laughs> give me a fuck ton of money then, boy. What's you the fuck? As much money as it's going to take for you to go to your high school reunion and let us film? I no, dude, no. See that the, See that is like a logical amount of money that I'm willing to choose. The uh Jill and I's porno would have to be like 2 million cash, dude. If I'm putting myself out there and her out there, we need some retirement money to buy a house down in Orange County and just coast for that and we'd still work. It's like I'm going to talk to my uh, attorney Tavio over here. <laughs> <laughs> We'll give you five thousand. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say three fifty. Be three hundred fifty dollars. I'll give you a chalupa and a churro. <laughs> Fucking hell yeah! Just make some hot sauce on that, man. Let's go. Two million dollars. Yeah, Mia is dude. It's becoming increasingly hard to tell a girl like Mia, who's a hot chick. And if me and Mia started an OnlyFans, I don't want to be cocky here, but I think we can assume it would get a lot of interest. Uh -huh. Not because I'm Mr. Fucking Sexy or anything, but because people want to see me have sex with my girlfriend. I'm telling you right now, I would never watch that OnlyFans. Just so you know, Danny Moore. I'm not good. My girlfriend's not hot enough for you. No, I'm just saying. Out of respect. What are you hey, saying, you know, listen, bro? You're out lying out of your ass. <laughs> Leo, you would not be, be like, hey, man. Leo would for sure call me up and be like, dude, come over me, and get high. I it. just me, bought Mia's yeah, yeah, OnlyFans. Right. Let's get I drunk and watch it the up. fucking 4K. Yes. You would do that. I'm firing it up. And we're all having a party. We're having we're getting drunk. Drunk and, and that's watching it. that's totally what I expect. Yeah, I know that if Mia and I released a sex tape on OnlyFans, we're probably pulling in fifty grand opening day. And I don't think I'm being cocky again. I think that is a conservative estimate. It is becoming yeah. increasingly hard in this world to tell my girlfriend that she shouldn't do OnlyFans and she should keep working her way up honestly. Yeah, Kazumi, who we were hanging out with the other day, I don't want to quote her income directly. But annually, it's in the millions. She yeah. told us what on the podcast that she made two point six million last year. Yeah, so. I hope she doesn't mind that we just said that. Nah. But she we're just guessing. She, we don't she even know. like when they talk shit about like her in the comments and shit. She sometimes responds and says, "Yeah, well, I retired my dad." So yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's she's in, awesome. It's fucking insane. It's it's if not generational money right now, it's make you rich right the fuck now money. Yeah. And if they keep going, it's going to be generational. Right. Like, Especially if you're hot, dude. I mean, you have to be attractive. So that's part of it. And, you know, look, I I think it's crazy the amount of money because I, I have an insider with, you know, our boy, uh, uh, Jacob Couch. He 
told me that these girls are you mean dick pick Pete, <laughs> dick Pete, Pete, dude. <laughs> dick, he might Pete. review a couple dick pics. It's so funny, <laughs> but uh, listen, and he's going to start out, dude. We, we might start getting in some in cahoots and managing some only fans girls. We might as well. Uh. Anyway, listen, he told me mm, there's multiple girls under the Jack Doherty umbrella making <laughs> 400,000 a month. Hmm. Wow. You hear that? Dude, this, this, bubble's, this bubble's gonna pop at some point, dude. Yeah, and then Most you have to get is. in but on it. You gotta get in on it with your girlfriend. And if you know, one day I do believe that when you go and pick up your kid at uh, you know, uh fucking the elementary school at in Orange County, one of every three moms has uh, maybe a guy cream pieing inside her vagina cool. on the internet. Nico's mom's already checked that box. Absolutely. We've both watched it. Well, she has had three kids, so at least three times. She Somebody's at least came in her at some point. But what I'm saying Your is, dad, hopefully my it's going to be normalized. I mean, look, I still Not I you. still am chauvinistic, and I don't think I could be with a girl that had sex on the internet even if it was with my own yeah you, you couldn't wife her up right you couldn't have her as your not main me, not me yeah, i think danny's a little bit like that too so i do i don't know i don't know i i could have sex with mia on camera on the internet but 50 grand wouldn't be enough it would have to be enough money that we could each buy a house mm -hmm. which in la is probably about two million dollars yeah if it was two million right now it's a million bro right now you could buy a dude, dude there's a hollywood hills house on I, sale. i'm saying two a mill house oh, for each, each yeah so you do need two million yeah yes a milli each, if yeah. she got it because she is a woman should get something out of it too i don't have overboard humors values when it comes to running an only fans yeah i would want her to get a lot out of it too and i don't think right now we could command two million dollars so the game plan is to get more famous and then eventually get there. And then I'll fuck her on camera and everybody can see. Really? You can make You're two million in that. like... Whoa. Really? In just like a number of months, like less than a year, you'd make two mil. Leo, I will tear that pussy oh up Oh my God, camera. for a milli, yeah. Yeah, I'll bring King Croc in. All right. Look, I can wear the uh, the bat suit, oh, where, dude. The you bat would wear suit. all would the costumes, do? dude. It There's no out. way you bring. Wait, you move on the bat suit. No, he's capping. He's capping, Leo. And King Croc just watching him and stroking he's, his cock in the back. No, I'm not watching. Yeah, dude, they would. Pay if I'm extra. watching, I'm out of there. Dude, if Danny was like, "Hey guys, I'm fucking Mia," and King Croc's jacking it in the background, yeah, people would know. love it. King Croc, watch this. If you jack it in the background, I'll pay for your apartment this month. Oh yeah, I'll probably do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably do that. All right, let's watch another video, huh? I picked these at random, not at random. I, I, I Hello, like my name is Victor. Um, I'm a college student. Uh, I'm majoring in film at the moment here in San in the area of San Bernardino. Um, talents that I could do is probably do voices. I know for Leo had a, on the live podcast you guys did on uh, Friday. Leo said there? that he had a crush on uh, Marge Simpson. So here you go. Leo, play with my clip. Um, one, one, one of the questions I have for you guys is, uh, how come you guys haven't went to any comic cons or any conventions, uh, like or we just to did. mess with people? Yeah. Like, for example, I know for a fact that, uh, Leo's character, Mr. Giovanni, he could make, he could make a comeback and mess around with cosplayers and all that stuff. I know for a fact there's a, uh, convention coming up in Pasadena in November. So I wonder if you guys would be down to mess around there. Tickets should be like on sale or something soon. So yeah, that's my question. First of all, I He's like so sweaty. I like how yeah he is. You know, when you're fat, you know. That's all I'm gonna say is you know. Are you saying I like this kid, dude? Leo, I, I'm just happy that we have so many Latino fans. I mean, we the, the diversity at the, our show, yo, Friday, incredible. I love it. There were I think four or five black kids, mm -hmm. one in white love face, it. one in white face. That kid was cool. Yeah, Chase cool. <laughs> he was cool. I loved his ferrets too. He had pet ferrets. He made us hold. They're pretty cool. R.I.P. to his boy who got canceled though for helping him out for a video. Yeah, he helped yes. him out. With was this, it the kid uh, who was the uh, slave driver? The slave yeah, driver, the white yeah. his white friend got canceled yes. at his college. From that. Yeah, I'm oh, down to work with that kid. Ray. He was cool. I liked him. Like four or five black kids, a sea of Mexican kids. I mean, the diversity a behind lot. the Danny Mullen channel. Yeah. If anybody comes at us for being too oh. handsome oh. European men who would never, ever suck a dick mm -hmm. and who get more pussy than you could shake a stick at. <laughs> That's fucking right. Well, just look at our fan base because mm -hmm. we aren't as, as chauvinistic and as homophobic and as racist yep. as some have accused us of being. That's right. We even have fat That's guys. True, man. We got fat guys. We got Juans. We got Luises. Mm -hmm. we, we got, got ugly Santiago's. people. Santiago's. Mm -hmm. We got Santiago. Bro, there was mad cholos at the fucking lot. Yeah, there was some <laughs> oh, cholos, dude. And they, 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 they were awesome. Lato. Dude, everybody at the fucking fan, I guess we call it a meetup, was phenomenal. This guy was awesome. I yeah. remember meeting you. It was awesome. It was a great turnout. Everybody was so fucking cool. Yep. 
That was great. And yeah. uh, what was his question going to conventions? Conventions. We just did a convention video. We just went to VidCon, mm -hmm. and VidCon was fucking awesome. It was oh, yeah? incredible. I do, I do, I was fixated on something you said, though, and I've been telling a lot of people What's that. What's that, Leo? That the style, well, first of all, there were, there were a lot of they, thems there. Mm. Gender. Gender. A lot it's of question marks. Fluid. Yeah. yeah a lot of question marks. Very fluid. <laughs> the people, the, the people that are watching the internet, the YouTube are, are gender fluid. Uh, they're a lot of they, thems. We're talking dudes that look like me with beards, but had heels on and uh, you know makeup what? on. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but it was interesting with a chick, with a chick, yeah. dude. A transgendered girl was like with a girl, right? And they got bitches like all around. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. But Damn. also the style yeah. that we've, we, Danny put it uh, like as he put it like this: it's gothic with furry. Yeah. Did you yeah. see that? It's, yeah. It's furry gothic guy. mixed with a furry. It's yeah. the weirdest shit it's, out there. I it, don't know what's going on. It's like goths with neon accents. Right. Maybe they have a bright uh, spaghetti strap tank top or a bracelet. And then they also look like they'd have sex with animals. Right. They're like cyber goth lesbians. Yes. That works yeah. too. And, and, not, and look, and, and nothing, I don't, nothing against transgender people, but this, I'm talking like percentage wise, it seemed about half the people there. Damn. Well, I mean, I don't think okay, okay. Like, if you look at a group of people who spend a lot of time on the internet versus a group of people who spend next to no time on the internet, I'm pretty sure they look very different. Okay, yeah. you're right. So it's just the <laughs> internet folk out there. But it was interesting. Yeah, it was. It was. It was cool. Also, I loved fucking around with people there. It was. Yeah. It, we should do more conventions. Yeah, as he said. I mean, it, it was a great place to do improv. Anime yeah. expos on Friday. That's when we're going. Damn. And, and then, uh, one, yeah, I just I uh, I don't even know if a lot of them were trans. There were just a lot of asexual looking dudes with long hair who looked mm. like they they couldn't bench press a pack of rollos yeah. <laughs> walking right. around right in That's fact in fact me. we me and danny at some point it was like i, I don't even if it'll, know if it'll be used in the, in the video although it did, ended up being a pretty funny bit but we just we just decided to sit these two 16 year old kids down and just be like dude do you want to do you guys want to get pussy or not like what's going on yeah <laughs> and they were straight up like yeah yeah we we do want to get pussy. Yes. It, actually, that would be nice. Yes. If we got some pussy. Yeah. That was Lamp Kid, right? Yeah, Lamp Kid. Lamp and we God, made a big time. Lamp God. Yeah, we, uh, this kid, he brought a fucking lampshade with him. Because he was like, it's 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 cosplay. I dress up as a lamp sometimes. And, like, of course, Leo's first instinct mm. is to knock the kid unconscious yeah. when he tells him that. But we're like, you know what? That'll fucking play around here. Mm -hmm. Over the TikTok line, there's a meet and greet right now with a guy wearing a cardboard box as a costume. Yeah. There's some sort of famous TikToker who wears a cardboard box helmet. Yeah. So we're like, why not make you Lamp God? So, of course, Leo and I pretend we're his private escort and start carrying him around places. Make way! Make way for Lamp God! And this like, guy gets pussy. Start yeah. getting photo <laughs> opportunities. We might have changed this 16-year-old boy's life. I think so. <laughs> I think so. But uh, either way, I got it. Uh, the people, we didn't get recognized as much as we thought we were going to get recognized, but we got recognized by some cool people that one guy, what's his name? Zeth? Zeth? Is it? The guy, the big time guy? Yeah, he's uh he's since asked me to not use any of that footage, which I'm not sure I'm going to comply with because oh. they came up to us every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Well, yeah, he does a podcast with his five year old. So I can see why the market oh, yeah. Yeah, might yeah. be a bad branding decision. <laughs> might be bad. But the general thing about VidCon was security didn't give a fuck. In fact, one of the security guards was an OnlyFans girl who showed us pictures of her titties. That was hilarious. They, they let us do anything. We didn't get thrown out despite having multiple blowouts, yeah. harassing Brent Rivera or whatever his yeah, name is while he was man. doing a QA. and a yep. We did whatever we wanted, and everybody was cool. One vendor, he was operating uh, editing software. That was his oh thing. He was God. selling yeah. editing software, and we told him we were pornographers and started showing him porn and asking him if we could edit it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, you just drop that in our program right there. <laughs> yeah, you can make the penises bigger or whatever, yeah, whatever yeah. you want to do. It was, yeah, great. it was for workflow. He was like, you set it over here, yeah. here, everything's all in one. You guys can totally fucking do it. You know, yeah. my, my maybe favorite moment, Leo, is when the, uh, the black security guard worked up the courage to walk mm -hmm. over to you as we were leaving. And he was just like, man, I, I don't, I don't want to seem weird saying this, but you got some incredible thighs. Yeah, dude, some dick. Yeah, it was tight. Said manly thighs. The manliest thighs I've ever seen. It man. was awesome. Yeah, it was great. It, it was, was great. awesome, dude. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, man, we did a convention. Thank you for coming to the meetup. We're gonna do more Shut of those. Yeah, it was a, an amazing turnout. I think uh, almost a hundred people came to Ontario 
California random location, you know, I mean, almost 100, almost 100. I yeah, can't, people I, I flew can't, in from far. Fl- fl- yeah. Seattle, it's Chicago, oh, yeah. 80, 80 yeah. tickets sold. And then there's yeah. like other fucking people that probably snuck in. Yeah. And then there's, of course, the uh, the fact like we're going to do it in other markets. I can't imagine what Vegas would be like. I can't imagine what Orange County would be like L.A. So they'd be cool. I don't want to meet more of you guys. I mean, they are exhausting. We want to give each and every one of you attention. And hopefully we did. I think everybody got a picture there. Everybody got everything. So it was fun. Yeah. Leo, um, just say right now, you want one of these guys to bring their sister out so you get a little... I would like a few more fucking girls out, guys. I mean, I don't know yeah, what was going on, on, but I mean, <laughs> we still, I still got Dino some titties. You know, he, he grabbed some titties after the show. It was a guy's girlfriend, though. You know what I mean? He it was even, it was he one wasn't even guy. There for the show it was, a, yeah, it was the a one we all signed. The street and <laughs> it was a different. Well, it was a different warrant. Oh, okay. but, uh, but yeah, show please bring out bring some more chicks. Hey, wait, real quick, guys! I have to do my sign off. The traffic's ticking up right now. I gotta fucking this is bullshit. Go back. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's go. gonna keep correct. Nico, if you get off the couch right now, let's try this. You're fired. No, please. I gotta go home and finish this fucking shit. You know, I'm sorry, leave... but dude, the traffic's just gonna get worse. I gotta uh, fucking hit it now. Leo, not Leo. Uh, Nico, I'm feeling a little lonely today. Mm-hmm. Your job for the next three hours is to be my personal best friend. <laughs> so you gotta come to my Hang house out. and just kind of we're just, gonna just give sit there. positive uh, reinforcement. We're gonna All play hacky sack. Positive affirmations. Yeah. Hacky sack would be great. Yeah. We're gonna DHV. Walk. We're going to do that. Higher value, baby. DLV. Nico, you're free to go. We've already been going for, I think, two hours strong anyway. Yeah. So we're ready to wrap it. Yeah. We're ready to wrap it. Thank well, you, Nico. I appreciate you guys. You're the you man. Guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys. Every, every guys. You don't appreciate King Croc? Oh, I appreciate What the fuck's my... wrong with you? Dude? Hey, Nico, come, come, on, come, come, come on the pod more, man. You're hilarious. And uh, we have a good time with you. So. Hey, well, I enjoyed it. Yes, if I'm ever allowed on, I can make it up here. And you're never going to be allowed on again after this. Well, after I'm you're leaving early. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> leaving early. I'm on. No, I got to get <laughs> home. Good. Traffic guys get home, is a get fucking home. bitch, dude. Yeah. But hey, seriously, thank See you, though. Nixies. Appreciate it. You got everything in that bag. Yeah, yeah, we're done right now anyway. So thank you guys. Leo and Danny Show. Thank you. Thank you.